Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. Including you, Nightbot, if you would wake up. I, I, tr I tried exclamation point goal, but Nightbot is, is snoozing right now. There we go. Thank you, Nightbot. Thank you. Perfect. How's everybody doing this lovely Friday morning, afternoon, or evening? I'll let you know for me. I'm, I'm doing pretty good, but it, it is, like, hot as, <laughs> as nothing else today. I feel like I'm streaming from the surface of the sun right now. Um... I have a fan over here that I might turn on later if I need to. I don't want to like mess with the audio too much, but I don't want to also die from heat stroke on stream or off stream really, but <laughs> hope everyone's doing well otherwise. This was your reason to wake up today. Happy to provide some kind of reason to get out of bed. Welcome, Evie. Lurking while meal prepping. No worries, Mina. Thanks for being here. Make some, make some delicious meals. Welcome on in, Karita, Froggy, Nico, Dark Mimi. There's a reason you never attempted to use the randomizer. It'd be far too stressed out doing everything efficiently. It 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 can be a little much sometimes, depending, especially depending on the order of your goals. We've got a uh, we've got our work cut out for us today. Is all I'm gonna say. Catch an octopus is our current goal, and our fishing level is um one. <laughs> We, it was almost zero. It was almost zero, but we did get that fishing level goal last stream as well. Is it smoky near me? A little bit smoky, yeah. It's, it's smokier today than it has been the past past few days for sure. 30 degrees Celsius for you. It's been getting up to that uh, pretty much daily for the past few days. I think it's supposed to cool down over the weekend, but... Yeah, it's not fishing level zero. We'll count our blessings because they very easily could have been. By the way, um, I did do a little bit of tweaking and updating to the randomizer code. So now it should not give fishing levels in such a way that it'll force you to level up anymore. Um, so like it'll, it can give you a certain number of fishing goals and then it'll check against how much XP like you're theoretically likely to have. What is that sound? I, hold on, I'm trying to see if that's like a sound that's in my like headset or if that's like Okay, no, that's like outside. I think there's like cleaning or something going on out there today. I don't know Yeah, so uh, it's not it's not a foolproof system because obviously the randomizer doesn't check your actual game It can't it doesn't interact with your game So it won't know how much XP you actually have from like accidentally catching trash or whatever, but it gives you like a lot of leeway. It's pretty generous, or it's it's, it's pretty well, pretty strict, I guess. But like it's uh, it's strict in assuming how much XP you would have gotten. I don't know. I don't want to get into the nitty gritty. All that all that you need to know is that we shouldn't get level ups out of order in theory. Not mooses again. No, this definitely does not sound like a moose. This sounds like a crane, if anything. It's, it's, it's like one of those like high-pitched whines from like a construction machine or something. Or is that just like tinnitus? I'm, I'm... What is that? I'm trying to... I don't even know. I don't even know. I think it's fine, though. This It's not a fire alarm. It would be a lot louder if it was a fire alarm, because there's one like right in my place, so... <laughs> no emergencies. There was a thunderstorm here, so the temperature dropped, thankfully. We need some rain here, for sure. I hope we hope we get some. It's not tinnitus, thankfully. Uh, it's uh, it's just, you know... It definitely sounds like it. Def I don't know if you guys can hear anything, but <laughs> hopefully not. We've been learning to make Stardew Valley mods to procrastinate the job search. You, hey, you know what? Fair, Pelinar. Making mods, coding, it's all, it's all in good fun. Finding a job is less fun, although probably more necessary <laughs> either way super excited to get into it we do have a little bit of fan art to share before we get back onto fractured farm today though we got this lovely little piece right here from jesse g i don't know if you're in chat right now jesse oh you are i see you yeah you're you're, you're, you're telling me about the mooses a lovely little drawing of of the challenge so far basically you got lots of you got all the little references you could possibly hope for Got ourselves an obelisk, our homie right there. There's the Junibos harvesting eggplants. Complete breakfast. We got iota and pie. And a lot of little fish in our fish tank over there. It's very, very cute. 
Thank you to Jesse for putting for for drawing this. It is very nice. <laughs> a great little encapsulation of the challenge up until this point. We're missing a little bone fragment and magma cap action in there, but you know what, that's fine. I don't know how you would even fit that in. I love the dwarf's shoes, by the way. The little cinder clown shoes on the dwarf. Very well done. And the other piece of fan art we have today is an update from Mia. Mia, who's been doing a lot of writing, writing of poems for our, uh, for our randomizer so far has hit us with a new entry over in the Discord here, so let me go ahead and indulge you with The Girl Who Challenged Yoba, Part 3. I think this one's a little intense. Get ready for it. Beatrix proved to be truly clever. She had clambered and conquered the goals in her path, and perhaps Yoba took pity, for her next few tasks were simple and easy, with a Junimo to ask. But then Yoba mayhaps made a mistake, Beatrix heard his demand and shouted out thus, Yoba, what is this? Am I to be Sisyphus? With a boulder, this will not be my hill. By your own rules, this will not be stood. The god reconsidered and gave anew something else for Bea to do. Came, goals came and went. A simple repent, but more fishing for her to see through. But Yoba was clever, and that little Trix could not see what will come to be. That Damocles sword she could not yet see hung in her path, and Yoba only waited to ask. She had come far, and would go some farther, but, that, but the god would win this bet. No challenger would see Yoba bested. Get snaps, get some snaps in chat for, uh, for Mia right there. Very, very nice. Damocles sword indeed. Damocles, thy name is Octopus. I think that's what we're about to find out today. But uh, <laughs> thank you to Mia, as always, for the lovely uh, poem. Thank you to Jesse for this beautiful art. And thank you to all the fan artists who have shared their fan art over the past year and a bit. If you'd like to share your own fan art, if you have an idea, written or visual or otherwise, exclamation point Discord. There's a link to the Discord in the description. And you can uh, share whatever fan art you might have in the fan art channel. Please let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be shared on stream, all that good stuff. For now, though, I'm going to have to... As they say, digress. All right, let me load up Stardew here and uh, get started in Stardew. Excited for the beach house, and now we have even more places to put a ton of aquariums. Yeah, that is going to be step one of our master plan today. The catching the octopus it doesn't involve much beyond you know actually catching the octopus, but in order to make uh, resets more palatable. We're going to want to get to Ginger Island. Well, we're, we already are on Ginger Island, obviously, but we're going to want to unlock the island farmhouse on Ginger Island because you can catch the octopus there. It'll be nice and easy resets. It'll be it'll be good. Hopefully, we won't need too many resets, but uh, <laughs> it is an octopus, so let's not, uh, let's not disrespect its name. Know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Feel like you missed a bit of what's happening, Froggy. I don't know how much you've missed of the of the challenge up till this point, but uh, our current goal is to catch an octopus. Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Uh, rules. If you're unsure about the the nature of the challenge, but uh, this is what we have to do. We have to go catch an octopus. That is the next thing we have to do. There's no dilly dallying, ifs, ands, or buts about it. Make no bones about it. All right. So, first order of business is Ginger Island. Um, we need to get, because how many, we have four golden walnuts right now. We need to get up to 20, I believe, in order to get the uh, island farmhouse. Sometimes they behave. We're going to hope that that's the case today. So we're going to head to Ginger Island. What do we need on Ginger Island? Like, I'm going to take all the tools. We'll take, take everything we got here, basically. I know I'm going to need the slingshot, right? I grab the slingshot for... I, I only need it for one walnut, but that's, uh... I mean, that's one wa more walnut than I might otherwise have. Go ahead and put all that in there. That's fine. Is there anything else I would need to bring to Ginger Island? I guess I can bring the... Bamboo pole... And the seafoam pudding. And maybe one of these chests for, like, when we actually get there so I can, like, store some stuff. Are these both empty? They are. Oops. That's a, that's a rug, not a chest. Common mistake. 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put that right back there. So we'll bring a chest. We'll bring seafoam pudding. Is there anything else I need to bring? I guess I could drink a triple shot on the way, but... Can I let Professor Snail out without mining XP? I honestly have no earthly idea. I would assume it that opening that cave does not give mining XP, but I can't I can't verifiably confirm confirm that. Is there anything else we have to do today before we head off to Ginger Island? I guess we got to water the crops, huh? That's the that's the main thing. We still have the ancient fruit on the go. I don't know if we're gonna get one more harvest out of it or not, but I might as well. Uh, might as well give it a whirl. Oh, we also got our eggplants, right? Eggplants and ancient fruit. It's my lucky day. I see you hiding over in there, over there in the corner, by the way, you little Junimo. Don't think I don't see you dancing about. Look at that. Funny conehead Iota. It's the only way I can find her in the grass. Look, she blends in so perfectly otherwise. It's, it's literally impossible to see her in the grass without that hat. I'll tell you, once winter gets here and we can, and we don't have to worry about the grass and her hiding in it, then we'll have a much easier time. She's still going to wear the hat, though. Don't worry about that. How come I'm not grabbing the crops? Uh, I don't need them right now. I guess I could have grabbed the eggplants and shipped them because we're allowed to ship eggplants now, but I don't really need anything of the sort right now. Nothing is mission critical there, plus my inventory's full, so... <laughs> Would it be possible to assign an XP value of min XP to each fish in the code in the sheet, then force gain a fishing level whenever you are a certain value away in order to avoid accidental gains? Clawtooth, we're on the same wavelength. I have updated the randomizer in a similar way to what you described in order to make sure that uh, fishing levels should not be possible without or out of order like that anymore. So we should we shouldn't get any fishing goals that would force us force us to level up. <laughs> Glad we're on all, we're all on the same page there, but I know that that has been a common issue up until this point, so it's uh, good to cover that. Finally got off my butt and fixed the code. All right, let's go to Ginger Island. No time like the present, eh? All right, ooh, a little rainy day as well. All right, I'm gonna drink the triple shot. I'm gonna go ahead and. I guess we can put this chest down for right now. We don't really need it at this exact moment. Oh my gosh, the fiber. <laughs> Fibrous farm could never. Yeah, so we need 20 golden walnuts in order to appease the parrot. Um, I know most of the walnuts we'll get are on Ginger Island West there, but I think there are a few we can still get. I'm pretty sure I missed the... There's like one bush over here that I have yet to pick up, right? can also look for mum mummified frogs in theory, but we don't need them. All right, there's the ruby. I can actually just put this on the, uh, like, just straight up on the the pedestal. This is island east, so that should go right there. Golden walnut right there. Fifteen more to go. I don't think we should have too much trouble getting all, all these golden walnuts, right? I haven't done, like, super amounts of research into, like, where they all are. I'm just kind of going off of memory as best I can, but, uh, my memory's been pretty alright for, for these things, I guess. Okay. We already got this one, right? I'm just gonna double-check all the areas, even if I feel like I already have gotten them, just because I don't remember the specific ones I got every time. There's nothing there, I don't think. There was one here, but no longer. I know we got, went and got that one. Got this one. I know we, we got this one as well, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Just covering all the bases, covering all the bases. It's important. Uh, we can't get to those ones yet, right? Or we have to we have to repair the bridge in order to get to those ones? How much is the bridge repair? It's 10. Okay, so we're probably not going to invest in that. At least not just yet. There, there was one behind here, but we already got that. This one here, okay. And then there is this guy here, the one we need the slingshot for. Perfect. Okay. Welcome on in, Naimeen. Good to see you. Do the puzzle. I don't know what puzzle you're talking about. There, There is no puzzle. Only Zool. We definitely didn't go this way. I remember... I would have remembered doing this. We got, we got the ones from the top of the volcano, though, because we did actually go through the volcano the other day. 
Chat, how much do you get for the Simon Says puzzle? Is it like five for completing the whole thing, or is it more than that? Three or five? If it's only three, that's so that's so cursed. That's too much work for only three walnuts. It better be five, is all I'm saying. Otherwise, you know, concerned ape, I got I got my eye on you. That's all I'm gonna tell you. All right, refill, please. How many walnuts do we have now? We currently have eight walnuts. We need 12 more in order to unlock the island farmhouse. Should be possible, I think. I don't remember how many are available specifically in Island West. It might not be 12. We might have to do a little bit of finessing here. But finesse is my middle name. Okay. Head on down here. That's a lot. Holy moly, that's a lot of fiber. <laughs> oh my word. Oh my days. All right. We can't mine any of the muscle nodes because they give mining XP. So we're, we're a bit hooped on that one. But there is that one right there. Then there's the, the pirate ship here. Okay. Now we see, I'm, I realize I have a problem now. Normally, I would use, like, I would I would put, like, something on each of these holes in order to stop this guy, like, from... Because I, I can't hit him with, like, an upgraded watering can or hoe or anything. Get back here. You think we can catch him eventually, maybe? I think there's a chance. I think there's a chance we catch him sleeping. All right. <laughs> we'll come back with, with something else for that. We can put some stone cairns on his face or something like that. Probably our best, uh, our best bet. Something to that effect, anyway. Okay. There's one under this rock that we can't get right now. We could come back with a bomb and get that. I remember that's that's a bombable one. There's one somewhere up here. Where's the bush? There it is. Okay. Up to 13. Seven more required. Do I think I could slingshot him? That's actually a, a great... Great idea. Probably not, but I'm willing to give it a try. I've got the slingshot here regardless, so. We need five more. Chat, if the Simon Says puzzle gives five, then we're we're good. Otherwise, even if it only gives three, I think we're still good. Hey there, Trello J. Good to see you. All right. Good is a relative term, though. We, got, we do have to avoid these guys. Okay. Is there a bush back there that I missed? Chat, did I miss a bush back there? Or was it only that, that hoable one? Um, I know there's an area down here as well, isn't there? Yeah, but I can't get through there without mining that rock. So we'll come back to that one if we need it. Oh, there is a bush. Okay. Confirmed. Bush spotted. Thank you. Thank you for the, uh, the reminder, chat. Okay. It's only three from Simon Says. Who are you in love with right now? This this slime is giving me... <laughs> this, I don't know. Is it the salad? Is it the star shards? What's what do you what do you want? Are you all right, buddy? Look, I'm just I'm just not that into you. I'm sorry to tell you that. He'll figure it out. He'll be he'll be fine, chat. Don't worry about him. It's the bush. <laughs> He's into the bush. It's not into me. Oh, okay. Can I get through here, please? Okay. Walnut acquired. That's 20. That is 20 right there. Chat, we don't need to do the Simon Says puzzle. We don't need to do the Simon Says puzzle. We just got 20 walnuts. GG. Confused slime trying to do their best. I didn't think there would be that many walnuts, to be honest with you, but there it is. All right, repair sleep hut, please. We can save the Simon Says puzzle for another day. <laughs> perfect, perfect. All right. Well, that was that went faster than I expected, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and just toss this um, to pick up the chest so I can keep the chest like on the inside here. Nice little island retreat. I will move the bedroom for right now. Oh, for, okay, first we'll stow our chest. And we'll put all the things we don't need 
right now, right this second. Actually, I'll take the scythe, because I do probably want to clear some, some grass and stuff. Maybe the axe, if there's any wood out there. Um, store the tarot tubers, obviously. Probably not. don't even need the salads, to be real with you right now. Okay, and then we'll we'll migrate the bedroom down here just to make, you know, resetting a little easier. I don't want to put it, like, right next to the door because that's... it's uncouth. But I'm willing to move it at least this far. There we go. All right, yeah, and we definitely do want to clear a path because if we're stepping out here every day, we step out, we want to make our way straight down to the beach. Holy moly. <laughs> what happened here, dude? Well, I feel like I wasn't gone for that long. Oh, I'm. Oh my goodness. I guess I was. I was like, I was hash brown hunting for a while, wasn't I? Okay. Is that a, is that a clear shot right there? I think that's as clear a shot as we're gonna get. Cause we can't get rid of that stump. We go around the stump. We head straight down. Right over to here. Somewhere down, somewhere down in this vicinity. Is it? Is this where we're gonna live for the next little bit while we try to catch this octopus? Or I guess I could go like here as well. Like I know south of this bridge counts as ocean, so I could uh, I could definitely fish there. There are definitely we have we have options at our disposal. I should also probably get a uh, go back go back to town and get some coffee or something like that. I'm realizing now because I'm probably that's it's a bit of a long trek from the house down to the shore and if I'm going to be making it often then I'm probably going to want that extra speed. When did I get foraging XP? 7 foraging XP was from What was that from chat? That was for, it was for the it was for the crab pot bundle I think to complete the crab pot bundle in order to get the crab pots. We had to pick up something. I don't remember specifically what. But I'm pretty sure that was it. There are two artifact spots I should hit. Snake spines are rare and I might get lucky. Valid point. Very, very valid point. Is it this one here? Is that is that does that have the potential to be a snake spine? I thought they don't have to be on the beach, do they? They just have to be like somewhere on this uh side of the island, I think. I'm going back, grab the watering can as well. Good call. Alright, Omni Geode. Bring the watering can. Other one is across the bridge. I got you. Thank you for the fresh, clean intel. I see it. Artifact spot spotted. No snake spine today, but uh, we'll get him next time. Is it possible to get them before releasing Professor Snail? To be honest, you're asking the wrong person. I, I like to think I know quite a lot about about uh, Stardew Valley. The uh, Achilles heel of that knowledge is definitely Ginger Island. I need to brush up more on like the mechanics and things to do on Ginger Island. It's, uh, it's a weak spot for sure. Oh my god. <laughs> what, the, what the heck was that artifact spot? Three golden coconuts and two artifact robes. <laughs> Someone call Blade. He's crying. What? What? Did the, what's the RNG on that? <laughs> that was a stupid artifact spot. Oh my god. All right, I'll take it. I'm not gonna say no by any by any means. That is uh, that was, that was wild. <laughs> we found the pirate's X. Yo, we found the treasure. The hidden treasure. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Willy. Iota, I missed you so much. Alright, so we'll head back home. We will grab some coffee, some triple shot to bring with us to the island for um, for the journey ahead. We'll make it to the island, we'll sleep once we have everything set up how we like it, and then we will catch an octopus. That's all there is to it, right? Yeah, Iota was a great addition to the to the family here. I can't believe we, there was ever a time where we were deciding whether or not to get Iota or to get a uh, the house upgrade. 
It was never, uh, there was never a question. It was always going to be Iota. All right. Three golden coconuts and two artifacts. That's so crazy. <laughs> Put them away in there for right now, uh, as well as the Omni Geode. Pick up the Aquamarines. And I think we are good for right now. We'll bring these back to the island. I'll, I'll, might as well grab the coffee while I'm here. We'll just grab the, we'll just grab all the triple shot to be honest. And then, uh, you know what? No, we're not gonna get, grab all of it. We'll, we'll take half of it to the island. That way we still have some here in case I forget to bring it back. Cause that does sound like something I would do. All right, Eddie, bad time. Wilderness Golem, you gotta take your shot. You do gotta take your shot. Plus, we get to break in our new Dragon Tooth Shiv. Where is he at? Holy moly. <laughs> I didn't think the Shiv would cut the uh, grass, to be honest with you. But All right. You know what? I probably should bring a weapon to Ginger Island, just in case I do need to head into the volcano. And I think you might, you might say to bring the Dragon Tooth Shiv. But I honestly think the Obsidian Edge is better for our purposes in the volcano. Because we're, we're playing defense, don't forget. Dragon Tooth Shiv is great offensively, but defensively, I think the Obsidian Edge, we can, like, block things that are flying in at us. And it's, uh, it's just overall a bit better, so... Having, having the sword special attack versus the dagger is more crucial right now, I would say. Wow, he gone. He, he literally, he got, like, evaporated. Alright, I'm gonna call Gus just one last time, for old time's sake, because I don't know the last time, I don't know the next time I'm gonna be back here. It should only be in a couple days, but we're going to have uh, some Groundhog's Day shenanigans in between then and now, probably. Wasn't Salmons trying hard to get a gold coconut on his low percent run? <laughs> no one tell Salmons, or maybe do tell Salmons. I don't remember how hard he had to try to get to get a golden coconut, but I just it's because Beatrix stole all of them, apparently. They were all just hiding on our on our ginger island. All right, everyone, wave goodbye to the Junimos. We're gonna not gonna see them for a while. Wave goodbye to Junimos. Wave goodbye to Pi, and wave goodbye to Iota. Just wave goodbye to Fractured Farm in general, because uh, we're taking an island retreat for the next who knows how long. Wonder if I can make it to the, <laughs> to the beach. So long, my Junimo friends. For you, it'll only be a couple days. For me, I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take. You know what? Let's let's pull this. I I'm curious. I'm curious to see how people are feeling about this one. Will we catch an octopus this stream? Yes or no? I've got uh, I've got about three and a half hours because I do have to leave for for work to, uh, towards like the the four hour mark. So we've got about three and a half hours of pure octopus fishing. Is that going to be enough? Ninety three percent of chat, ninety two percent of chat believes we will catch the octopus this stream. It will take really long, but you believe in me. Thank you for the optimism, chat. I greatly appreciate it. We're going to need it now more than ever. This, the octopus does not mess around. We have the seafoam pudding. The only other thing we could potentially do to make, to put the odds more heavily in our favor would be a long side quest to get a master enchantment on our bamboo pole, because that would increase our fishing level further by one. If push comes to shove, maybe we'll, maybe we'll consider that, but for the time being... It is, uh, it is not required. Alright. Let's stow all the stuff we don't currently need. Stow all that. I'll keep one triple shot in my inventory for the Day of Reckoning to come. Don't need to clear any more path, right? Let's, let's double check that the, that the path is still clear. I know I literally just cleared it yesterday, but... Debris can spread faster than you might surmise. So we head on down here. I wish I wish there was like a path like straight through there. We have to like do like a little loop de loo around here. And then bam, right here. Okay. 
the cinder shards involved that's the main thing we already have a prismatic shard for the enchantment but the cinder shards the only way we can get them is from volcano chests at a pretty pretty low rate not like impossibly low but low enough that getting 20 would take you know longer than i'm willing to really think about right now all right that said i do have i mean i've probably fished more than any other person here right now i probably spent more time in stardew valley fishing than just about any anyone in chat and uh, probably more than like 99% of the player base, I would say. But uh, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Let's go ahead and lock in the day. And then, uh, well, let's do it like this. Lock in the day and we'll give this a whirl. Let's do it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is not the kind of omen I need right now, all right? I need good omens. You are just, you're filling up our coop, and I don't respect it. I don't appreciate it. Why would I not be able to catch an octopus this stream? Is it only going to be a half hour stream? I, am I going, am I taking crazy pills here? Also, is an, will an octopus appear on a rainy day? Will an octopus uh, is an octopus a sunny day only fish or is it is it rainy day as well? Hold on, octopus. Octopus does not weather does not seem to matter for the octopus. I think we're safe. Yeah, but the, the octopus is like insanely hard. <laughs> Sleep an extra day not to see the witch on resets. We shouldn't see the witch on resets either way, right? You've caught it in the rain. Thank you. I want to grab our TV and wait for a good luck day. I don't think luck affects uh, fishing. Or at least it, it affects, like, the treasure you find while fishing, maybe, but not the actual fish themselves. All right. Before we get into it here, I'm going to go ahead and swap out my, my octopus goal for an octopus counter. How do we feel about that? Zero attempts at the octopus so far. Only one way to go. And that's up. Luck affects what fish spawn, I think. I don't think it does. I think I've I've done a lot of I've done a lot of research into fishing and I it does not ring a bell for me, but I mean we'll we'll see how desperate we end up getting. Either way, drink my triple shot and go. Let's give this a, let's give this a try. Lovely rainy day for our octopus endeavors. It'll give us something to strive for. We don't get to see the sun again until we catch an octopus. All right, eat the seafoam pudding. We're now at a clean level five fishing artificially. Artificially, send it. I think level five will be okay for the octopus. I certainly hope so. That's not an octopus. I'll tell you that right now. I do know I tested this out. The chance... Or I, I used the fishing overlays mod and I came here on, like, my test file. And the chance of hooking an octopus... I'm just going to take that on the chin. The, th the chance of hooking an octopus is um, about 12%. We have 12% chance of hooking an octopus to begin with. I'm not going to reset at the first sign of trash. I'm willing to take a little bit of extra XP on the chin, and we'll be fine. We don't get to see the sun until we get the octopus. It's kind of a depressing thought. No, no one said this was gonna be uh, gonna be a cheery, happy-go-lucky time. Green algae is our only real enemy right now. We shouldn't be able to catch green algae because it's the ocean. Maybe seaweed, but I don't know if seaweed is available here. You believe in the zero restarts if we take if we take a little bit of trash? We're taking a, a lot of golden walnuts, I'll tell you that right now. I, like I said, I'm willing to take a little extra XP to make the uh, the resetting more palatable. The yeah, octopus likes to wake up nice and early. Octopus is available from. Right when you wake up until 1 p.m., I believe, is the last last chance you have an octopus. There he is. 
Okay. That's, uh, that's one. <laughs> that's one octopus failed so far. It's all right. It's all right. That's not how they're all going to go, chat. It's not how they're all going to go. We just have to, we just have to get a lucky one. We have to catch a lucky break. Octopus just waving hello. You always have to fish for ages for the dang walnuts. Another interesting thing I noticed while testing around uh, to see like our octopus chances on my test file was that according to the fishing overlays mod, when you catch a golden walnut, it was it's a 100% chance that you would have caught a golden walnut. Like there's no no chance to catch anything else. So in theory, I think like when we reset the day. Like we'll catch the same golden walnuts like in the same order of casts. I don't I don't know if that makes any sense or if that's actually how it works, but that's how it seemed to be working on my uh, experimentation file. Just gotta keep going till we get a lazy octopus. <laughs> if such a thing even exists, we're gonna we're gonna find one. We are gonna find one. I think we basically go until our seafoam pudding runs out. Trash be darned. And then once the seafoam pudding is out, like there's there's no there's no sense in continuing after the seafoam pudding. I'm not in the business of, like level five fishing is already gonna be hard enough to do it actually just like at uh like bare bones level one fishing. Not about that lifestyle. This is probably our last cast, huh? Last chance, octopus. All right, that's not an octopus. First reset imminent. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry to the zero reset believers. Oh, also, don't forget our triple shot. Go, go, go. Octopus time, baby. What's everyone's favorite food? You need to get hungry and... You need to get hungry, and you need the help. Why do you need to get hungry? That is my, is my number one question there. Favorite fruit, food? My default answer is the Cheddar Bay Biscuits at Red Lobster. Ooh, journal scrap. Don't know if we'll get to keep that or not, but it's, uh, it's here now. But favorite food that I eat on, like, a consistent basis... I don't know. My like, favorite format of food might be eggs, to be honest with you. I've been eating a, a significant amount of eggs in recent times. Spicy instant noodles is your current favorite. Froggy, I, I bought some spicy instant noodles literally the other day. I was I had a craving. I went down the aisle. I saw them there. Because I was, I was heading down the aisle. They're in the same aisle as rice. I was going to get rice, I spotted them out of the corner of my eye, and my mouth started salivating non-stop. And I was like, I, I gotta get them. They're very cost-effective, too. Ooh. Okay. Octopus number two. I just gotta get in the rhythm of it. I just gotta get in the rhythm, chat. Don't worry about it. You'd love to try a quesadilla, they look so nice. Quesadillas are usually my go-to when, when we go to like a Mexican restaurant or something like that. They are, they really do hit the spot. If you can get a place that's, that has good quesadillas, because there are definitely good quesadillas and bad quesadillas. Like, I, I like a nice, fully loaded quesadilla. Like, like a very thick quesadilla. Not just one that's like literally like a tortilla with cheese like sneezed in the middle of it no nobody wants that you might as well just be eating like nachos at that point tortilla protein shredded cheese another tortilla cook it like a grilled cheese you're in heaven nobody wants sneeze cheese sneezing isn't normal I never sneeze Trash is piling up a little bit this time. That's okay. We'll take our licks. We'll roll with it. If I can get like a second octopus on this on the same day, though, 
Oh, baby, you better watch out. Beatrix is, is warmed up now. Everything in moderation. Exactly, Haley. exactly. Everything in, in moderation, including octopi. Cool. Definitely not an octopi. The one boon we have when it comes to this goal, catching an octopus, is that we know when we hook an octopus. There, there are a lot of fish out there that will do like a lot of flipping and flopping. Like, ooh, I don't know, is this the right fish or not? When you hooked, it, when you hook an octopus, you know you've hooked an octopus. <laughs> there is, there is no question about it whatsoever. This is probably our last chance with this seafoam pudding. I guess we could have brought multiple seafoam puddings, but. I don't want to invest. Like, it's a very limited resource right now, so I'm willing to just take the resets. That is not an octopus. Not by any stretch. All right, three seconds. Yeah. Welcome on in, Zipporah. If you're at a great time, welcome to the octopus days. Sneeze cheese in a tortilla would be a uh, chewable. Okay, okay, you got you got a chuckle out of me. I'll admit it. I'll admit it. Okay, Dad. Catching your first octopus caught you so off guard. It's one of those things. It's like a, it's a magical moment when you catch your first octopus. Your Rand Randy from Randomized Farm had to catch a shrimp as your first goal. Catch over, had to catch over 300 tra trash to get to level three fishing. Oh, you're playing you're playing the standard version of the randomizer. I was like, wait, catch a shrimp shouldn't be possible as the first goal. But if you're playing standard mode, then yeah, that makes sense. That would be a heck of a grind. Oh, hold hold on. Okay, there was there there was a moment there. There was a moment where the octopus and I saw eye to eye. Please stay tuned for the release of my new book, Eye to Eye with the Octopus, a Beatrix story. Felt so powerful when you caught your first octopus. Like, I like to think I'm pretty good at fishing. But there's only so far that skill can take you when it comes to fishing in Stardew Valley. At some point, you do have to rely a little bit on luck in order to just find a, a good pattern. Especially for these like more difficult fish, like the glacier fish, the legend, the octopus. Sometimes they just give you a pattern and you got no hope. You've been, you've been dealt like a suicide pass, you know? That's not an octopus, that's a tuna. Can't tune a fish, but you can tune a ball. Hey there, Lisa. Welcome on in. Good to see you. Twelve. I know we're on goal number twelve. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, hold on, chat. Is there a chance? That was that was that was that was a lazy octopus. But even so, a lazy octopus. If if you're lazy when you meet the lazy octopus, you, you I got to be more on my A game than that. What have we done so far today? We unlocked the island farmhouse, and now we're trying to catch an octopus. That is literally it. We are we are four octopus attempts deep. Just hoping it doesn't go double digits. I don't know. I, I've left room on the counter for it to to go pretty high, but uh, we'll see. That is a tuna. You think the next one is mine? Thank you, Dorte. I also think the next one is mine. But I always think the next one is mine. I just I just have the optimism. 
it flows through me like blood through the average human. Driftwood. You know what? The driftwood, I'll actually take it. We still need more driftwood for the, uh... For our eelfish pond, right? Oh, I'm out, I'm out of seafoam pudding, though, so I just realized. Rip. Seafoam pudding gone. And there's just, there's just no hope at that point. Chad, do you think it's physically possible to catch an octopus at level zero fishing with no buffs? I know you can with, like, the fishing tutorial, because the octopus is one of the fish you're actually able to hook with the fishing tutorial, which is, like, a guaranteed catch. But without that, I don't know, man. That sounds, that sounds like a heck of a, heck of a time. That is a tuna. Have I ever revealed what Empirical Farm is? It's no big secret, it's just a, uh, it's like a testing ground for, for things I need to test for challenges and stuff. There's, there's nothing too special about it. <laughs> we, can, we can go there, I can show you Penelope in all her glory, but... Lazy Octopus vibes? Please send your laziest octopi to a ginger island near you. You're working on an equally difficult goal, acquiring an ectoplasm. Just, yeah, getting getting the ectoplasm drop from the ghosts. I don't think the wiki lists, like, a, a drop rate for ectoplasm, does it? I remember looking into that and being like, oh, it's just a... Uh, it's a chance to drop from ghosts, and that's about all they know. Definitely not an octopus, I'll tell you that. Maybe a lionfish. That fish is lying if he says he's an octopus. Empirical makes perfect sense. We, we only operate off of empirical data around here. Only the finest numbers will do. The most fine-tuned, fine numbers. Say LMC, thank you for being a member for five months at the Electron level. I greatly appreciate the generosity and support. This Driftwood is for you. Prismatic Slime is way more difficult to find than the Ectoplasm, you think? They're on about an even keel, I would say, I think. I, I haven't I haven't had too much experience hunting for either of them. There will come a time in the challenge when we, we do have to do that, obviously, but... From what I remember... I don't remember having a particularly difficult time with either of them on Frugal Farm. But I do remember them taking, like, some time each. You have to farm a sweet gem berry, which would, ooh, which would put you over a farming level. But you realize that you could farm, ship it for the gold, and re then reset the day. Technically not against the rules. Well, if you ship it, then you won't and reset, then it won't count as shipped, right? If you have to farm a sweet gem berry and you're go you're going on hardcore mode, then I think the only way to do that, if it would give you a farming level, would be via Junimo huts. But hey, I'm not going to tell anyone. You named your farm Blue Duck Farm. That's cute. I like I like the mental image of a blue duck. The goal has to stay completed. It I mean, that's the that's the whole idea is that you're progressing towards perfection. So if you if you reset and reset one of those goals, then I mean, you're only shooting yourself in the foot in the future for when you um that's not 49 seconds, 3 seconds, okay. For when you actually get perfection. Or what point are you actually going for perfection, I should say. Would I ever redo the no level up challenge using a Junimo hut? I've thought about doing that. I don't know if it would be, uh, 
that interesting at this point because now like ba like through the randomizer you've kind of seen what it would what it would look like more or less and I feel like doing the Junimo Hut grind once is is fine just to like show it off and to celebrate that it's a possible thing but to do it again just for its own sake is is not a uh, I don't know if it would be that interesting to to watch I have not married anyone yet, no. We are, uh, we don't even have any potential mar marriage candidates yet unlocked. You named yours Random Farm, and when you did the, the Gus Eggs quest, Marnie said, mmm, random, random eggs. I did a, uh, I, I've done a challenge on fish, some, it was a place called Fishy Farm, and I did that exact same quest, got the exact same cutscene, you could probably put two and two together, I was a little bit, I was kind, I was kind of rolling, <laughs> I was rolling laughing when Marnie hit me with the yum fishy eggs, and I, I just, I, I couldn't handle it dude, I couldn't handle it. Didn't I use no glitches for the no level up, or was that price perfection? Yeah, I used it for both of them. I, I did. I had a no. I had a no glitch clause for both uh, price perfection and no level up. But if that's if that's the only way to like get it without resorting to multiplayer, then it's uh, which it's not technically. I mean, if you if you want to stay within the rules of uh, of the challenge, you could do remix bundles. There, there's Habu has done that in the past. Where there's like a version of a. Uh, the no level challenge. If you get the cer a certain combination of remix bundles, you can complete it without leveling up. Yo, thank you, Squirmy Master. I appreciate it. Gus is going in a bold new direction using row and an omelet. <laughs> hey, if don't don't knock it till you try it. Is all I can say. I, I'd give it a shot. Octopus? That's not a lazy octopus, chat. That's 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 a very fit and active octopus. No lazy octopus for me. It was a marathon champion of octopi. No back-to-back -back octopus yet either. Our day will come. Oh. Wait. Wait, he's a little lazy. He's a little lazy. Not lazy enough. Not lazy enough. Am I not resetting trash? I am not currently resetting trash because I have enough leeway with experience that I think I'm I'll be okay. And if I reset every piece of trash, that would just make this grind take like even longer than it might already, so I'm, I'm willing to take a little bit extra XP on the chin. What's our time at? This might be the last... I mean, we might not even get a bite in this time. Should you lurk and play Stardew or lurk and do some work? Jesse, I can't answer that question for you because I don't know what the importance of your work is. But just, just do what your heart says. Go where the wind takes you. You'll never go wrong. Unless, like, the wind is, like, guiding you into, like, a hurricane or something. Then you should probably, like, go the up opposite direction. Aren't we mixing freshwater and saltwater fish? Down here? Down here it should only be uh, oceanic fish that are available. This section of the island works like that, where it's like there's certain parts that are freshwater, certain parts that are saltwater. If you're using magic bait, then you'll mix them up, but... I summon the kitty. Yo, furry kitty. I love it. That's a tuna. I know a tuna when I seize one. Oh, you meant the aquarium at home? Yeah, but they'll be fine. I mean, they've li they've lived a long and healthy life already. I don't see how that would change now. Will Willie's aquariums, I'm telling you, they're just built different. 
they're built different. You don't trust Willy to build the the safest, healthiest aquarium for fish of every variety, even if you're a silly fish owner and put, put the wrong types of fish together. Aquarium tank water is magic water. 100%. It's Stardew Valley. Mag magic is uh, everywhere. Literally, our character is magical. She can, like, transmute iron into gold and stuff. <laughs> also, welcome on in, Wickety. I was waiting to see the notification for, uh, for Roll for Initiative today, but I guess, I guess you're not streaming today. That's all right. Happy to have you here either way. Walnut me. Fish are not being made into a taco yet. That would only be the tuna. Only tunas get made into tacos. Oh. Don't worry about the treasure. Don't just focus on, on the actual real treasure. Oh, he's giving me the treasure, though. Wait. Octopus? Octopus? You beat, beat, continue, beat, lazy. Lazify. Lazify. Eat the Lay's chips. Oh, the bar was behind him. How could you tell me that I lost the fish? The bar was still behind him. Concerned ape. Make it, make it make sense. Fix it. That was a good run, though. That was, that's the best octopus we've seen yet. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that, Wickedy. I hope everything's going to be okay. I'm definitely uh, sen sending love and, and healing vibes your way. I hope everything's good. Everyone's everyone send is send good vibes to Wickedy Wickedy's way. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm wishing all the best for you. How much time we got left on our seafoam pudding right now? We got probably probably one more catch in here. Everything's a okay. The kid is on the mend, but the wait takes ages. Okay. Well, I'm glad to hear. That. I assumed because like you were here rather than like like you know not here <laughs> that things were okay. I, I assumed that if there if things were like an extreme like like dire, then you probably wouldn't be in my stream chat right now. But I didn't want to make too many assumptions. Glad to hear that though. But you're right. The hos the hospital wait is not a wait that I uh, that I wish upon anybody. Emergency, non-emergency, whatever the case may be, it's uh, <laughs> you, you you're in that waiting room for waiting room for the long haul. Oh, I didn't even drink my triple shot this time. I was just taking a lazy trip down here. It's all right. Maybe maybe the triple shot isn't helping us. Maybe it's making Beatrix's hands all jittery. Happy to provide some kind of distraction, Wickedy. I'm sorry it couldn't be any more enthralling than trying to catch an octopus on a rainy day, but <laughs> maybe that's all you need. Maybe maybe this, uh, this sort of grind is exactly the medicine that's needed right now. That's a lionfish, probably. Now we can watch all the fish flail around madly in the ocean. Maybe they can flail into my hands. That would be nice. At least, you know, the, the tentacled ones. Hey there, Cobalt Cryptid. Good to see you. I'm feeling lucky, chat. I'm feeling like our next octopus is a lucky octopus. Chad, what if it's a shiny octopus? 
What if that was a thing in this game? What if you could actually catch, like, shiny fish like their Pokemon? But it's just so rare that no one's ever caught one before. Could you imagine? It's so rare that it's even in the code. It's not, it's not always there. Coded on a quantum computer. What color would the shiny octopus be? I get the feeling a shiny octopus would be like a disappointingly not that different color. You know how those like, uh, there's like some shinies that are just like almost the exact same color? I feel like a, sh a shiny octopus would be like, like a slightly lighter shade of orange. Really need a hug from that octopus? You and me both. Iridescent blue. Ooh, that'd be cool. Blue ring octopus is a shiny, but don't ever touch it. But the, the rings are so blue. I, they, they're just so touchable. Oh, that was a nice fast, uh, fast hook. The octopus? He's ready. He's ready? He's not ready. Okay. He, he bit so fast. I was like, this this guy is ripping ready to go. Turns out he was, he was raring to go back out to the ocean. And I just happened to catch him at the wrong time. And yeah, we need more, more sleepy octopi, please. Sleepy octopi. A pink octopus would be cool. Pink like the emoji. Maybe the octopus is a she and she's mad that I'm assuming. <laughs> I mean, if I if I could just meet her and clear up the confusion. Find out for sure, but I, I have yet to see an octopus with my own two eyes. Your Nintendo is on? That didn't you said it was broken earlier, right, Squirmy Master? I'm glad it is, uh, you, you figured that one out. Enjoy your gaming. I should sing a lullaby? Lullaby for an octopus? The hit sequel to Lullaby for a Princess that nobody needed? Seafoam pudding is gone, by the way. Stardew Valley time? Yo, enjoy your enjoy your Stardew time, Squirmy. Squirmy Master. I hope you catch many more octopus. Many more octopuses than I than I will than I have, have currently. Ooh, maybe there's a snake spine over there too. I didn't even notice that artifact spot. Someone should make a mob where there's shiny variants for all the fish in Stardew. I would absolutely install that in a heartbeat. They can't be any mechanically different, though. They have they have to just be, like, literally just, like, a palette swap. I don't want them to sell for more or anything like that. I just want there, there to be, like, a slim chance that you get, like, a, a red puffer fish or something. Can you drink the seafoam pudding and then buy the next level of fishing rod? Um, Jerry, I had the exact same idea, and I tested it, and it did not work. <laughs> Unfortunately. I, I wish that it had worked. That would have been, like, a, a clutch moment for sure. To be able to get an, a higher tier rod. It wouldn't have helped that much, because with the seafoam pudding the highest, we, we, would, we would only be able to get a fiberglass rod anyway, if that did work. Because you need level 6 fishing in order to get the Iridium Rod. And a fiberglass rod, all you can do is attach a bait to it, which doesn't really help with the catching aspect. It does make it so you can hook more of them, though, so that would have been helpful. Oh. That's a tuna. Does it turn to sand after the buff wears off? <laughs> there you go. Just a little temporary fishing rod. I like to think that if you could do that, you, like, buy the fiberglass rod, you're out here fishing with it, and as soon as your buff runs out, Willy runs in from off-screen and tackles you to the ground and just steals the rod back from you. 
You wouldn't say cactuses? Maybe you wouldn't. Oh. Alright, disregard. I'm level 1 already? Yeah, but so level 1 plus level 4 with the seafoam pudding would be level 5. The only way I would get to level 6 is if I also enchanted my rod with the master enchantment for that plus 1 buff. Welcome on in, Wiktarian. Thought seafoam was plus five. It if it were cheese seasoned, then it would be plus five. But uh, just regular seafoam pudding is only plus four. I say only plus four, like it's not the highest buff of anything in the game. But <laughs> it was literally behind it. I know when the when the bar is behind the octopus, and it still gets away. I just I just feel robbed every time. The octopus is just that fast, though. What does cheese seasoning taste like? Sassafras and good dreams. Don't know what that means necessarily, but it's uh, it's the first thing that came to mind. You gotta go with your gut on those ones sometimes. Chat, what's sassafras? And why is it so, why is, does it have such a funny name? Wait it out. It's edible glitter, it makes everything gold. Sounds perfect then. Or are we talking about cheese seasoning? Garlic powder? Is sa sassafras is garlic powder? Root beer? I thought that was sarsaparilla. Are sarsaparilla and sassafras from the same same roots? Roots and bark with some medicinal qualities. Chat, what if we've all been hoodwinked and cheese seasoning is just like Mr. Cheese toenail clippings or something? What if it's just like horrible? I mean, he's he's a magic man, so like any like I have to imagine that you know even in his toenails there's there's more magic than any of us could dream of in our entire lives. Ew, gross. What do you? It's <laughs> it's a possibility, okay? How does he have so much of the stuff? It has to be it has to be regrowing in in quick supply. Did I have to do that? It, it came to mind, you know what? And I mean, I've got a lot of air to fill here. If this octopus doesn't want to come around, so <laughs> I just gotta, you know, just gotta say things that come to mind sometimes. Alright, I can't take it anymore, chat. I'm turning on the fan. It's too hot right now. Oh, octopus? That's a tuna. I apologize if you can hear the fan whirring in the background, but it is, like, so unbelievably hot right now. Dehydrated snake milk. There you go. Now we're getting somewhere. Why do I say these things while you're making dinner? I'm so sorry. I'm eating! I'm eating! Dehydrated ground up chi fruit? I mean, then that still begs the question what chi fruit tastes like. We're all fans here. <laughs> I'll give you that one. I appreciate it. What's too hot for a Canadian? Like, 25 degrees? I resent that, but also yes. For me, 25 degrees is when it starts to get to, to uncomfortable levels of heat. Between, like, 20 and 25, I can manage. 25 to 30, it starts It starts to... Like, I start to bake. Like, I'm just I'm just sitting here just, like, broiling in my own, like, sweat right now with the, with the heat. I think it should start cooling off towards the weekend, but... Fingers crossed, anyway. Twenty-five 
20 degrees is about your limit if there's a cool breeze to make it bearable. Yeah, 20, 20 degrees. Like, on, on, oh, hold on a second. All right. Into the double digits we go, pressing onward. I would say my ideal temperature is probably like 15 to 20 degrees, maybe with a nice little cool breeze if we can swing it. Chi fruit tastes like the styrofoam fake fruit that people use for display. Now I have to eat. Hold on a second. Hold on. Alright, disregard. Now I have to go and, like, I have to go to Ikea and take a bite out of one of those fake apples that they got to find out what, to, what a she fruit tastes like. Come on, I have faith. I have faith we can get one more bite. One more bite? It was meant to be. Chad was meant to be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she, he darted away so fast. Darted away faster than my prom date when she, when she saw I was wearing a yellow tuxedo. Not a real story, by the way. I just made that up. But, like, I have to imagine a yellow tuxedo. Probably, probably not the play most of the time. I always forget to drink my triple shot. Lucky number 13. I like the way you think. How did we get the legend during Price Perfection? Pleading, intimidating? I think I think it was just pure, raw, unadulterated persistence. When it comes to fishing in Stardew Valley, that's, that's all you can really do. You stack things as much as you can in your favor via fishing buffs or, um, like, better tier poles, whatever you can do. Unless you're crazy like me and you just, like, use a bamboo pole for everything regardless. And at that point, once there's nothing more you can do, it just comes down to, to getting good. Be persistent, wait for, wait for that lazy fish, and the world's your oyster. Yeah, in Price Perfection, I was level 10. I think I was level 10. I think I used a Dish of the Sea, I want to say, for the, uh, for the Legend, so I was technically at level 13 or something. If memory serves, and it still took a while, but... Upgraded fishing rods are overrated. You know what's not overrated, though? I don't even need to tell you, chat. I don't even need to tell you what's not overrated. <laughs> at, the, at the mere mention of the word overrated, this song comes up. Don't let it, don't conflate the two. It's mere coincidence, nothing more. Now, will this song be the siren, siren lullaby that draws out the sleepy octopus? Wait, let's find out. Look at all those bees. They're swarming. The chat's swarming! Do, 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 do. You know what this song, in combination with the current activity that we're doing, reminds me of, strangely enough? Diddy Kong Racing. There's that one boss race against the, like, giant octopus. You guys know the one I'm talking about if you've ever played Diddy Kong Racing? I'm getting I'm getting those kind of vibes with this music combined with thoughts of octopi. <laughs> it's like too perfect. Like the the boss is so like similar. I don't know feel I feel like his boss theme is so similar. It's your favorite N64 game? I played the heck out of Diddy Kong Racing when I was a kid. I played it on my channel as well way back when. There's you can you can go back and find a a much younger, more naive version of myself playing Diddy Kong Racing. Oh. I'm 
fighting for my life here. Ah, oh, that would have been a great song to catch the octopus to. <laughs> That's all I was thinking. That's the only thought that was running through my head that entire time, dude. Speaking of that Diddy Kong Racing Let's Play I did way back when, it's actually probably like... It's, it's, it's a definitely, I don't know if it's the earliest display, but it's unearly display of uh, my challenge-based tendencies. Because in Diddy Kong Racing, there's like a way... There's like speed boosts that are on the ground, right? And if you hit those speed... If you let go of the accelerator just for like a second before you uh, hit those speed boosts, then you'll hit the speed boost and you'll get a green, fiery boost that uh, propels you much farther forward than you otherwise would have. And I, I wanted to beat the game without using any of those cheating green boosts because that's how I did it as a kid, even though it took, like, forever because WizPig is an absolute piece of garbage. Wiz, WizPig sans green boosts, still probably the hardest boss I've ever fought, fought in any game. It might be, you know, just my memories of, of time spent grinding that out as a child and, like, crying. But even even when I did it when I was older for, like, my uh, my playthrough on YouTube, it took, took me, like, a solid, like, eight hours of grinding attempts out against that guy. It was rough, dude. WizPig with the N64 coins is so freaking hard. The silver coins, the silver coin challenge on WizPig, I don't remember ever doing that one, to be honest with you. Baby Argon season intended mechanic, that's cheating. Adult Argon season intended mechanic, that's cheating. That's not fair, you can't just, like, summarize my entire life and philosophy in in two chat messages, Karita. That's just, that's, that's cruel. It's so true, though. No matter what the game is, I always have to, like, look at it and find some way of being like, oh, that's an intended mechanic that's supposed to make things easier, but I can technically get by without actually having to do it. We don't do that around here. In before Haunted Chocolatier releases, and there's, and I have, to, and I try to beat the game without making any chocolate or something. I don't even know. I can't even fathom what uh, what challenges are going to be available in Haunted Chocolatier, but I don't doubt that we'll find some. And that's what we love about you. It makes for some unique uh, experiences, for sure. That's what that's what it's all about, man. That's what that's what all these challenges are about. Are just like finding a unique way to play the game, and there's just something something charming about it. Being able to like play a game on your own terms. You know, bend the rules of the game in such a way that, you know, it feels like it should be impossible. if Or at the very least improbable, but then uh, you, you make it work. You make it happen. The challenge is to not eat all the chocolate. That's, that's an impossible level challenge. That's up there with getting uh, 999 T-sets in a Stardew Valley. Are there any anti-quality of life mods? <laughs> Something tells me they're they're less common than the quality of life ones, but they probably exist. Sardew Valley, but you can't run. What if we were just like forced to like go like this everywhere? Open the octopus will well, yeah, hoping the octopus will cooperate soon because he can't stay for longer than 15 minutes. I'll do my best, casual gamer. Oh. Okay, the seafoam pudding ran out anyway, so no big deal. No skin off my nose. The more you level up, the slower you move. Ooh, that's a good one. Write that down, write that down. 
and then when you reach max level, you're just, you're just, you literally can't move at all. You just lie in bed for the rest of your life. I'm here for it. You finally gain your last level. It's the last thing you need to do to get 100% perfection. You get the message that, th that there's someone waiting for you on the summit. <laughs> and a single tear rolls down your cheek. As, as your legs fail you. It would also mean that b at base levels you'd be... At no levels you'd be faster than base speed. Naturally. Been a hot minute since we've seen any octopi is all I'm gonna say. I don't know what what I can do to lure them out though. I have to get a better read on the octopi. Normally catching an octopus, I mean I've done it a lot in the past, but in much better conditions than this. I've never had that much of trouble with it, so I've never really had to learn the ways of the octopus. I need to I need to do like a rocky style training montage. Welcome on back, Simber. Sing them a song. I can't just sing them a song off the top of my head though. I don't know any octopus songs. Please, please. <laughs> he baited me, he juked me so hard. I'm the one fishing rod, but in the end, I was the one who got baited. That was so rude. Maybe they need an AI bedtime story? You know what? It's not a bad idea, Lilypad. Let me go. Let me let me let me check this real quick. Let me see. Chat GPT. Let me let me go over to chat GPT real quick. One second. New chat. Hey, can you please write a bedtime story for an octopus? I don't know what the heck's gonna happen here. Once upon a time, in the depths of the vast, shimmering ocean, there lived a curious and clever octopus named Oliver. Oliver had eight long and graceful tentacles, each adorned with suction cups that helped him explore and interact with his underwater world. Every night, as the ocean floor grew dim and the stars above twinkled in the dark sky, Oliver would retreat to his cozy, nestled, nestled, to his cozy den nestled amongst the coral reefs. It was his favorite time of day, for it was when the ocean whispered to its secrets to him. One evening, as Oliver settled down for a restful slumber, a shimmering figure appeared before him. It was a magical sea turtle named Marina, known for her wisdom and enchanting stories. Good evening, Oliver, Marina greeted him with a warm smile. Tonight, I have a special story just for you. Oliver's eyes widened with anticipation as Marina began her tale. Once, in a distant part of the ocean, there was a magnificent kingdom ruled by a wise and gentle octopus named Ophelia. She had a heart filled with kindness, and she took care of all the creatures in her underwater realm. Oliver listened intently, his imagination taking him on a journey through the kingdom. He could envision the vibrant coral castles, the colorful schools of fish, and the gentle sway of the sea grass. One day, a terrible storm struck the kingdom, causing chaos and fear amongst the sea creatures, Marina continued. Ophelia, with her eight arms, worked tirelessly, tirelessly to protect her subjects, guiding them to safety and providing shelter in her strong embrace. Oliver's admiration for Ophelia grew with each passing word. He imagined himself as a hero, rescuing his friends and keeping them safe. But even the bravest of leaders needs help, Marina said softly. Ophelia knew this and reached out to her fellow sea creatures for assistance. 
Together, they formed a united front, supporting one another through the stormy tempest. As Marina painted a vivid picture of unity and cooperation, Oliver's mind filled with the possibilities of what he and his friends could achieve together. The storm eventually passed, leaving the kingdom stronger and more resilient than ever before, Marina concluded. Ophelia's selflessness and the power of unity taught everyone a valuable lesson, that when we come together, we can overcome any challenge that comes our way. Oliver gazed at Marina, his eyes shining with newfound determination. Inspired by the story, he whispered, Thank you, Marina. I will remember Ophelia's courage and strive to be as caring and brave as she was. Marina gently nodded and disappeared into the depths of the ocean, leaving Oliver with a heart filled with warmth and hope. He snuggled into his den, feeling grateful for the beautiful story and valuable lesson it imparted. With dreams of unity and bravery dancing in his mind, Oliver dri drifted off to sleep, ready to face the new day. Ready to face each new day with the spirit of Ophelia guiding his actions. And so, in the depths of the shimmering ocean, the little octopus slept peacefully, knowing that the power of kindness and togetherness would always illuminate his path. I didn't expect it to be a story about a story for... <laughs> that, that, was, that, that threw me for a loop when it became a story about a story, but that was really good. <laughs> Sleepy time, Oliver. That was, that, was, that was really good. Well done, ChatGPT. He, he knocked it out of the park again. Alright, now we gotta find Oliver. Hopefully that put Oliver into a nice, nice restful slumber here. Oliver, this isn't all. This isn't Oliver. It's it's that's too sleepy to be Oliver. Ollie for short. Ollie. No, that was that chat. That was Ophelia, and Ophelia cannot be wrangled. This much I know to be true. We're looking for Oliver, not Ophelia. We Oliver is the hero that we need. Ophelia, Ophelia has her own business to take care of. Ophelia is feisty, exactly. Ophelia is too powerful. But with, with Beatrix's help, I think Oliver could, uh, could match her, to be honest with you. I think Oliver, you and I could work together and, uh, and make your dreams come true. Have a good one there, Squirmy Master. Thanks for hanging out. Ophelia has places to be, absolutely. That's Ophelia, man. <laughs> we drew out the wrong octopus, chat. We were looking for Oliver, but Ophelia is, is the one who's uh, come to visit. It's all right. I, don't, I, I still respect Ophelia and her right to... And her right to be the feistiest octopus in all the Gem Sea. But she's not the octopus we're looking for. Ollie, Ollie, Octi, please. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. I know you're out there, buddy. I know you're out there. Come with me and you'll, you can join Craig and the rest of our fishy friends back on Fractured Farm. It'll be a beautiful time. We'll work together and create a, create a great... a great kingdom of fish. We'll aspire to everything that Ophelia taught you. We totally won't sell you. We're definitely not selling. <laughs> what are you saying? Otta. I mean, I can't guarantee that we won't put Ollie in a fish pond and sell his brethren. <laughs> but Ollie himself never. Nah, no chance. Beautiful coral castle just for you. Just for you, Ollie. Come on, buddy. He will he will be in unity in the fish pond, you're not wrong. 
I don't know. To be honest, the story, it was very inspiring. Got me feeling for Ollie, for sure. And it got me feeling so much that I think once we catch Ollie... Chad, this might have to be a catch and release situation. I don't know if I can keep Ollie away from from the sea. I feel like he belongs. In the, he belongs to the sea. I, I just need him to... I need to see him. I need to be in his company for a little bit. But we might have to send him back. Ollie cannot be kept in captivity. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Hashtag free Ollie. We haven't even caught Ollie yet. Then Ophelia just won't have any of it. Yeah, I just need a hug, Ollie. Ollie, can you come and tell me the story that uh, that Marina told you? I just want to hear the story. I just want to hear how you tell it. Because, you know, everyone tells a story a little bit differently. Like, I imagine Marina as a kindly, like, elderly sea turtle. That was, that's how I saw Marina. What if we catch Ophelia, though? Literally not possible. I'm in the business of implausible challenges, not impossible ones. Ophelia is the shiny octopus. Calamari, though? We gotta catch a squid for calamari. The octopus is, uh... is its own beast. Chat, please just just promise me that you'll like you'll yell at me, never ending. If I put off if I put Ollie inside of a fridge at any point. I could I couldn't bear accidentally even if I just put him in there for like a like a split second, and give him the chance to be turned into sashimi. I would I would never forgive myself. Marina dipped fast for an elder. Ophelia, I mean, Ophelia is, is in the prime of her life, that's for sure. Maybe release him in the ocean at home on the beach so he's always with us. That's a, that's a great idea too, Wickedy. Ollie will be the protective spirit that we didn't know we needed. But, but first, before we can get to any of that, before we can uh, have the fairy tale ending of our dreams with Ollie... We gotta catch him. We gotta find him first. Bring Ollie home. It's a very good idea. It's very fitting. It's poetic. You can always swim back to Ginger Island if he wants. It's true, yeah. The ocean is all connected, so he can he can find his way home if he if he wants to. Maybe it'll be the adventure he always dreamed. He it said that he wanted to be a hero. Maybe it'll it'll provide him the opportunity. His own little Finding Nemo story. New memoir title, Finding Ollie. Does anyone be keeping track, by the way? I think we are catching the same three golden walnuts, like, in the same order every single time. Like, pretty much every day we catch three golden walnuts. I have to assume that that's not a coincidence. I believe that the golden walnuts are guaranteed within, like, a certain number of catches. I always catch three, yeah. It's that it feels right. Every, everything else seems random. For everything else, there's a bamboo pole, but those those golden walnuts always seem to come at the like exact same time. Oh, Ollie, Ollie, is that you? I don't know who that was. That didn't feel like Ollie, but it also didn't feel like Ophelia.
I mean, it makes sense, right? Ollie is the hero. Ophelia is like the like the grand ruler, the queen. Oscar, Oscar the wicked, the wicked octopus. <laughs> it's Oscar. That's a tuna. No room for a tuna in this story, I'm afraid. Maybe as like a like a merchant or something. Oscar the grouchy octopus. <laughs> Oscar is your eldest kitty's name. Oh, that's so sweet. Oscar is a great kitty name. Oscar is your dog. Also a great dog name. Chat, why is Oscar such a good name? Oh. Chat, is this... That's... Ollie? Ollie. I think we found... I th I th Chat, I think this is Ollie. This is... It's, 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 Ollie! I didn't know it was you at first. Ollie, please, come home. Ollie, it's okay. You're safe. You're safe here. You're safe with us. Ollie. Alright, we just have to we have to get make make better friends. That was definitely Ollie. There's no doubt in my mind that was a that was a very Ollie pattern. It's okay. Chat, he's still out there. He's still out. Now now at least, you know, we know he's he's heard our pleas. Ollie. Ollie's on our radar now. But he's not gonna he's not gonna give in without a fight. You know? Just like in any good hero's tale he's been inspired by, you, you have to work for it. The hero doesn't just get handed their uh, treasure on a silver platter. We're gonna have to work for Ollie's cooperation. And unfortunately, 19 casts, 19 chances at an, at an octopi, simply not enough. We need to go. We need to go more. Ollie doesn't quite trust us enough. It's all right. I'm willing to work at it. Have a good one there, casual gamer. Thanks for hanging out. Can I even focus while still talking? Most of the time, yes. But like. You may notice that whenever the octopus does come around, I kind of go quiet. <laughs> At least quieter than usual. Because no matter how adept you get at it, no matter how much streaming you do or, or content creation or anything, you get better at being able to play and focus on games while you're talking over them. But I don't, like, for, for very intensive things, I think that uh, you still have to laser on in. What if we catch Oscar? What will we do? If we catch Oscar, I'll consider it a triumph. Personally, if we, if we can, if we can free the Gem C from Oscar's tyranny, him, I'll, I'll gladly turn Oscar into sashimi. Don't you worry about it. We will eat Oscar. <laughs> you can't eat Oscar raw. Is the thing Oct octopi are not able to be eaten raw. They're too powerful. Make Oscar into a shirt. <laughs> In before I change the name of this goal from catch an octopus to catch Oscar. Who's this? I think that was Ophelia. That was Ophelia saying that she believes in us, but that she's not about to join our side. Throw Oscar in the trash. <laughs> nah, he deserves a he deserves a proper send off for for a villain. Any any good villain of any story, you know, you want to see them. You don't just want to see them like stuffed in a dumpster, like uh, like Gene Takovic. Catch a tuna before the next reset for good luck. I mean, anything's worth a try. You're a fan of the octopus shirt. I would never turn uh, Ollie or Ophelia into a shirt, but if we get Oscar, there's there's definitely a chance. <laughs> he 
you've eaten octopus sushi, it wasn't raw? I don't know. I mean, I, I only know of what Stardew Valley tells me. All my knowledge of everything comes from Stardew Valley. And in Stardew, you cannot eat a raw octopus. So much octopus lore. It's, I mean, it's part of the fun, honestly. 50% of the fun of these challenge runs is uh, is the challenge runs themselves. The other 50% is is making up silly stories and lore to, to justify everything. And it's never been easier than with chat GPT. I don't even have to do the... I don't even have to think. <laughs> it's a tool you got to use sparingly, though. We can't just throw chat GPT at every problem. It's not like virtual duct tape that can fix everything, you know? Remind you where Oscar came from? Oscar is the third octopus type that we did not account for. There was a pattern of octopus that just was distinctly not Ophelia and not Ollie. And I believe uh, both both Wickety and Lisa called it Oscar. Oscar the obstinate octopus. Did I see the news about the lawyer who used ChatGPT for one of his briefs? No, but that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> it's something you shouldn't do, but it, it definitely, you know, it doesn't surprise me that some, things like that are happening now. The way I see it, ChatGPT, is, it's a tool, and you should use it as such. It, sh it shouldn't be, like, something that you can, that you use just on its own. You can use it to, like give you ideas to to like help give you a starting point for something maybe but I don't think it should be the be all end all that's for sure Ophelia is majestic Ollie is more chill Oscar is cranky and angry yeah Oscar is just like I don't know I don't know like it was it was hard to qual qualify Oscar all I can tell you is that it didn't feel like Ophelia or Ollie We have yet to see any of them in a while, though. I was looking over here at my at my gold bar, and I was like, what the heck is this, like, why are there, like, barnacles growing on my gold bar? Have I really been out at the ocean for that long? But then I realized it's, like, the muscle nodes behind them. <laughs> it threw me for a loop for a second, though. I was like, why is my thing, why is my, my gold tracker look like that? That was Ophelia. Just checking in with us, letting us know that there's there's still hope. Do not give up yet. We haven't unlocked the sewing machine yet, but we have a lot of aquamarines for that exact purpose. We can trade them at the Desert Trader for cloth anytime we like. Not anytime, but like uh, on the specific day that we are allowed to. And at that point, it's so yeah, bas basically unlocking the uh, the sewing machine at this point is just like a formality. Audrey, the only other way to increase our fishing level at this point would be to enchant our bamboo pole with a with a master enchantment, which would require bare minimum one prismatic shard and 20 cinder shards. Possibly more than that if we don't get master on our very first try, which is definitely possible. And uh, that is a that's a heck of a grind to get the 20 cinder shards, especially. Beyond that, there is there is nothing more we can do. We'll do, we'll we'll try it if we have to, but uh, I'm banking on not having to. Because the only other way you could even theoretically increase your fishing level beyond that even would be cheese season seafoam pudding, which obviously we can't get. We can't get into the walnut room number one because that's its own goal. And even if we could, we need level nine fishing to have the seafoam pudding recipe, and then we need the gold to 
cook seafoam pudding. So it's 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 a very far, far, far away, far flung idea. So we'll we'll write that one off entirely, but haven't completely ooh. That was Oscar. Oscar coming in coming in when you least expect them. I wasn't ready for Oscar. Ollie is extremely rare. That's what I'm learning right now, is that Ollie is the rarest of all octopi. Ophelia likes to make the rounds to check in on us, make sure that we're not going crazy yet. Oscar's here to taunt us. And Ollie is, is off doing who knows what. He's having his own adventures, and only seldom does his path intersect with ours. This is not... That's a lionfish. Imagine the randomizer included clothing goals. Don't tempt me. And before... Hey guys, they updated the randomizer. There are now 1,500 goals. <laughs> All these like like a diamond in the rough. I'm with you. And before see cook seafoam pudding is the next goal. We just break the conventions of the randomizer entirely, and all of a sudden we have to cook seafoam pudding. Oh. Ophelia. Ophelia. Look, I, re I respect you checking in, but... I, I need I need some hope here. I need some more hope and don't don't get me wrong. It's nice to see a familiar friendly face. But you you can't do that to me cuz I know I'm never going to catch you, Ophelia. You're like you're a white whale. You're impossible. It's all right. We'll get there. Chat, how's the fan noise, by the way? I've never streamed with this fan on, so I don't know if it sounds like anything in the microphone or if it's just going to be, like, my imagination and my mic is good enough to, you know, phase it out. You don't hear it at all? You do not hear the fan? All right. Well, there you go. That's, that's actually good intel. Now I know that if, uh, if another heat wave strikes, then, then we're good to go. Your ears are sensitive and you don't hear it. Perfect. That's exactly according to plan, then. That is surprising to me, though, because it's, like, right next to me. Chad, this is Oscar. This is Oscar. We caught, we caught him, we caught him snoozing. We caught Oscar. Oscar! Oscar! Okay, you know what? I woke him up. I was taunting him too much. Ooh, but PJR, though. Just when I was about to be out, they reeled me back in. Freaking Oscar, dude. I want to catch Oscar the octopus today. That's about all I got for lyrics right now. <laughs> Bit of a weak showing, I know, but... Do I have a couple fans so I can circulate cooler air or just the one? I just have the one, but it's all I've ever needed. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure it would be, uh... Oh, it's... Wait, we're out of seafoam pudding, I just realized. I know it would be better to have multiple fans, like you said, to, to circulate the cooler air, but... This one's always uh, served my needs quite well. Oscar the Kitty is now watching the stream. <laughs> At least we got one Oscar on board. Alright. I think it's time for an Ollie sighting, though. I think we haven't seen Ollie in a minute. As long as I'm comfortable, that's great. Comfortable is a relative term. <laughs> I'm definitely more comfortable than I was earlier, I'll tell you that. Like, the nice cool breeze of the fan definitely helps, but you can still feel that kind of stagnant heat in the air. 
You know the type? It's the kind of heat when there's like, you're out at a, uh, you've been out walking around Disneyland on a cloudless day for four hours with no wind. And you just finished your last water bottle five minutes ago. That's the kind of heat we're looking at right now. Driftwood is definitely a win still. I'll take it. If there's any trash I want to catch, it's Driftwood for our fish pond quest. Drink your water. Probably a good idea. Are these two out of three golden walnuts back to back? I don't remember. I feel like I should I should internalize that. They're not back to back, okay. Because otherwise that would have been the golden walnut right there, so. They're pretty close together though, I think. Yeah, okay, so they're not quite back to back. There's one chance for a fish in between. Good intel. Weirdly cold there today. Cass, can we trade? I will take cold over heat any day. That, that actually was, believe it or not, that was Ollie. I just wasn't ready for him. Uh, he ha he caught me by surprise. Good to know he's still out there, though. Being distracted by chat. I mean, I could just, like, not look at chat. That's also an option. I could just sit here and stare at the ocean. Thousand yard stare out across the salty waters as I try to catch this octopus. Well, that's not the lifestyle I'm about. I could do it. I've done I've done worse grinds on my own without chat to distract me, but I always need some kind of distraction or another. Yes, ignore us. You got it. <laughs> I could never ignore. Ollie. Ollie? Ollie. Ollie! It's Ollie! Please, Ollie! Don't do this to me, no! No, Ollie. Okay, we're putting up a good fight. We're putting up a good fight. Alright. Alright, Ollie. It's okay. You're safe here. You're safe. Come home with us, chat. Come home with us, Ollie, please. Please, Ollie. Please. It's it's beautiful. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. We can work. We can do something. We can make magic happen together, Ollie. You don't know what kind of amazing life awaits you on Fracture Farm, I promise. It's gonna be beautiful. You're gonna get to go home, too. You, I just wanna show you- I just wanna show you around. Ollie, no! Ollie! Playing with my heart, man. <laughs> Ollie. We had him. He was right there. What did I say, chat? I said something wrong. I scared him away. Oh. That was, that was brutal. That was brutal. You know, I think we gotta have some of those like that. We gotta ha we gotta have, you know, there's always a moment in every story, in every climactic tale. It's like the heroes are like at their, their lowest point ever. They've just been like defeated by the big bad or they've lost their resolve in some way. We're at that moment. We're about to, we're about to enter like the, the climax of the movie, I think. Climax of Ollie's story. Ollie, he's back. He's back and better than ever. Please, Ollie. I don't know what I said last time, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever it is. Sorry, he's not going to cut it. Not just yet. It's too soon. That's too soon. That was a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, that was... I didn't think we'd get quite that close that fast, to be honest with you. Am I going to reset if it's not base quality? No. <laughs> That is the thing with the randomizer now, by the way. I coded, because like I said, I coded, I recoded parts of the randomizer so that it shouldn't give you um, too many fishing goals in a row and force you to level up out of order. And the way it kind of does that is it looks at the maximum possible XP you could get for catching a fish, i.e. you caught an iridium quality version of that fish. 
and it uh, it takes that into account because it can't know exactly like what everyone's doing in their own versions of the challenge. So it takes like the like the worst case scenario into account basically. So so for that reason, we don't really need to worry as much about uh, the qualities of the fish anymore. I need to not talk to him next time. It spooks him. Chat, I want to say that was Ollie, but there were some movements in there that made me think, I, was that Oscar? That might have been Oscar trying to trying to bait us. I think Oscar has has seen that we have fondness for Wall for Ollie, not for Wally. <laughs> a fondness for Ollie and that's our weakness. And he's going and he's trying to exploit it. Ophelia? No, that wasn't Ophelia. Ophelia, we'd never keep Ophelia on the hook that long. It was Ollie, but I made him upset. No! <laughs> I've never felt so bad for a fictional octopus before. Ollie's twin sister, Olivia, the true lore. Ooh, journal scrap. That's rare. Journal scrap is literally 1% ch catch rate, by the way, chat. Does that mean we're in, in a good spot? Is this a tuna? It felt like it felt like an octopus at first. No, that's a tuna. That's definitely a tuna. I know that pattern all too well. For sure wasn't Ollie. There there were flashes of Ollie in that last octopus we had, but it was I I think you're right. I think it wasn't Ollie. What song is this? This is the final boss for from Journey of the Prairie King. I didn't get the spy glass. How did I get a journal scrap? I guess you don't need the magnifying glass for journal scraps. You only need it for secret notes. Because journal scraps and secret notes are different, right? These ones are exclusive to Ginger Island. Have I ever felt bad for an octopus before? I've never seen an octopus in person, so... No. <laughs> and there's not many, you know... heart-wrenching tales of octopi in the in the news or anything like that. Like... Oh, hold on, we're at a seafoam pudding. Like, breaking news! This orphanage just, just burned down, but all the kids are safe thanks to the heroic sacrifice of Oriander the Octopus. He slumped his way through the burn through the burning building and carried out eight children at a time on his tentacles. Yeah, that's never a story I've seen, but maybe I'm just not looking at the right news outlets. Octopi are very smart. They very much are. Hence why they can create such vast coral civilizations beneath the surface of the waves. Is Oriander named after Coriander? Look, I was put on the spot. I had to think of another O name, and all the good ones are taken. You lurked so hard you fell asleep and dreamed of Ophelia. Claire, what did you say to Ophelia? Did, did you speak to Ophelia on our behalf? Because that might be what we need. We, might, we not, might need an ambassador of some kind. Oliver was right there. Oliver is Ollie's actual name, though. That's his, that's his true name. Lest we forget, the story never called him Ollie. That was our construct. Orville? Orville Elephant? Known best friend of Mr. Hippo? And Ted the Tuna. <laughs> the extended ocean universe. Y'all know it would be a school at sea that the octopus saves? You, you got me there. <laughs> school of Fish was right there. Oswald! Anytime I hear the name Oswald, I think of, uh... 
like Oswald the Rabbit, like the the OG Disney character. This is taking way longer than you anticipated. Octopi are tough. This this should not be news. Everyone's always telling me, Argon, I can't believe you have such an easy time with octopi. I they're harder than all the legendary fish combined. I don't know how how you don't say that they're the hardest fish in the game, and I would still contend they're not the hardest fish in the game. But they're hard enough, and I, I respect them. I put some respect on their name. No doubt. I mean, mathematically, the, the highest, uh, they have the highest difficulty rating of any fish other than the legendary fish, I'm pretty sure, right? And even higher than some of the legendary fish, I think. Like, I think the octopus is, what, 95? And I'm pretty sure the angler and, and mutant carp are lower than that. Crimson fish, I'm not sure. And I know glacier fish and legend are obviously higher. Actually, I don't know if glacier fish is higher. Glacier fish might also be 95, but but I feel like glacier fish is over 100. Crimson fish is 95. Okay, so the glacier fish must be higher then. Yeah. Thank you for the intel. Glacier fish is 100, and then the uh, the legend is 110, or is it 120 or something? I know the legend is, like, the highest possible, but I don't remember what that number actually is. You can catch the glacier fish way easier than the octopus. The thing about the glacier fish is that it's, like, uh... Well, what's the octopus's pattern? Because the glacier fish is, what, mixed? Which means that, um, you have the chance to get some really easy patterns. I don't know what the octopus is, though. Maybe it- maybe the octopus is also mixed? Because we definitely get some some easier patterns than others. Hence Ollie, Ophelia, and Oscar. Yeah, Octopus is also time dependent. That's something to consider too, yeah. You want to see art of all the octopi and then Ted in the back trying to join with like an octopus mask on? That'd be good. Octopus is a sinker. Could have fooled me. They like to they like to hang out at the near the top of the thing a lot of the time too. I guess they are towards the bottom more often than the top, I think, but they dart to the top so fast. I would have thought the octopus is like dart or something. Ted taped a bunch of party streamers to him like tentacles. <laughs> Poor Ted. Pour one out for Ted, man. Ted the tuna. One day he'll join the Pantheon. I feel like the vibe I get is that Ted the tuna is the Samwise Gamgee to, to Ollie's Frodo Baggins. You know, all Ollie's there, and he's like the he's like the main focal point of the story a lot of the time. And Ted is like, I mean, he has his he has his amazing moments for sure. But he's not the hero, except when he is. Ted is comic relief. There you go. Oh. Ollie? Nah. I don't think that was Ollie. I think that was Oscar. They're similar at times. They're similar. Because you either die a hero or live, your see live, live long enough to see yourself become Oscar. I can't carry the pearl, but I can carry you! Oh. That was my favorite part of, of Lord of the... Lord of the Waves.
おwas Ophelia. I was, I was, this longer than we ever, ever ever kept Ophelia around, but that was still decidedly Ophelia. You think that was Oscar? I don't know. That felt Ophelia like to me. Leads you on, gives you hope, then dashes out cruelly. Sounds like Oscar to you. You know what? You got me there. Ophelia, like, doesn't even give you any false hope. She just, like, comes along to remind you that octopi are still out and about and not to give up. But she's like, you're not getting me, though. I got, I got bigger things to attend to. She has to go quell the shellfish rebellion or something. You're right, yeah, Ophelia is too powerful to be around that long. I, I can't, I can't give myself too much credit. I could fish for like 10,000 hours in this game and never even come close to catching Ophelia, I think. Catching Ophelia is a is a rarer accomplishment than spotting the rare green moonlight jelly. It's not a single recorded instance of anyone catching Ophelia before. Your ectoplasm quest has officially failed. No, Pelinar! It's okay, I have faith in you for next time. Ectoplasm will be yours, I promise. New challenge, ca catch all three types of octopi. 20,000 hours later. Wickedy might have caught Ophelia. Does Wickedy have an octopus story that I'm not privy to? Alright, this is going to be a gold walnut. You had a cat named Samwise. He was a real sweetheart. Great name for a cat. Hop to your name for a cat. This is a lionfish, and this is a golden walnut. Have I met Olivier? It's the fancy French octopus who leads you on but just wants to talk about art and philosophy. <laughs> foreign, exchange, foreign exchange student, Olivier. How often do I stream? Usually three times a week lately. Three to four times a week. I mean, four, four if I'm feeling feisty. Uh, stream schedule gets posted on my community tab on YouTube every Sunday as well as on the Discord. No specific, like, guaranteed stream times. It, it varies from week to week, but uh, I try to keep it somewhat consistent, at least. You don't know if, if Wickedy has an actual octopus story or an Ophelia story, but with the six living hats, you wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, you're right. With, with Knowing Wickedy, she probably caught Ophelia and also hooked a fishing treasure that contained a living hat at the same time. She's just that good. <gasps> oh, he had me for a second. Oscar. Oscar, man. I feel like Oscar is the one we're seeing more often than not now. It's like we're in a boss fight against Oscar. And I don't know how to feel about it. I want to take him down, but I also, like, would rather... Would, would rather recruit Ollie to my side. That looks like Odin. I don't have a beat on, on a fourth octopus if there is one. I feel like everything's either Ophelia, Ollie, or Oscar. 
Have a good one there, Carmen. Thanks for hanging out. And thank you for your for your Ollie vibes. Lazy Ollie vibes. No Olivia then? I mean, if, if Ollie has a twin sister, it's definitely Olivia. But we'd never be able to tell because they're twins. Until until we actually see them side by side, like like back to back, we get Ollie and Olivia. We might be able to tell some slight differences, but but I don't know enough about them yet. Petition to remove Oscar from the game. One point six update. Oscar has been removed. Everyone will be like, "Who's Oscar?" But we'll know. We'll know the true lore. Octopi shouldn't be that hard to catch. How hard are they to catch in real life? Like, in real life, you don't catch them with a fishing pole. You catch, like, an octopus in, like, a cage or something, right? I don't really know. I'm not uh, privy on the world of, of octopus fishing. How many resets has this been? Couldn't tell you specifically. All I know is we've had 31 cracks at the octopus and, uh... <laughs> make it 32. Ophelia? Alright, thanks. <laughs> She's just coming in to flaunt for a little bit. It's okay. She was gone for a while, though. Like, she was, uh... She must have, been, she must have had some important royal, royal duties, I think. Considering an octopus was able to get it out of its enclosure in an aquarium and they can fit through a hole the size of a quarter... Oct octopi are be wild then, man. In real life and in the game, oct octopi are top tier animals. Harpoons? Yeah, I don't want to think about that. Harpoons are. I just don't want to think about harpoons in general, to be honest with you. <laughs> That might, I don't know, that might have been a new one. That that might have been someone else. I'm tempted to say it was Oscar. But it could have also been Ollie. I, that felt more Ollie to me. More Ollie than Oscar. I feel like I was just, you know... I was just not ready to meet him there yet. Octopuses are intelligent and know how to outsmart us. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I mean, they they are very very smart. There's a reason they have the reputation that they do. Then there was the octopus that grabbed someone. How big can octopi get? I know, like, there's like the colossal squids, but squids squids are not octopi. Like, my mental image of an octopus is just, uh, like, they, it gets maybe as big as, like, I don't know, if you, like, scrunched it all up into, like, one little, if you didn't, you don't want to scrunch up as much as possible, because octopi can obviously get very small, but I want to say they're, like, the size of, like, a basketball. Deep sea ones are pretty big. I've never seen an extremely large octopus. Definitely none none larger than like like I said like a basketball or so. Not even in like pictures or videos or anything. But I don't doubt that they're out there. Hold on, I'm out of seafoam pudding. I feel like seafoam pudding should last longer when it's raining. My personal take.
Yeah, that sounds pretty brutal, Alice. <laughs> that's definitely that's that's uh that's that's rough. The fact is that that's been banned in the past few years, it does not surprise me because that sounds like uh that sounds yikes. I missed the second half of your comment. There was an octopus that grabbed someone's camera and started filming the person. Hit send prematurely. Is this a fan fiction? Oh, you hit send prematurely. I thought the octopus hit send prematurely, and I was like, what are we talking about anymore? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, he took a video of the person and sent it to his mom? I was, I was like, what the heck? Oh, I get you now. I get you. Found octopus up to about 160 pounds. So that's a heck of a basketball. I mean, I'm not saying they weigh the same as a basketball. It's like a basketball weighs like 0.5 pounds. The basketball weighs nothing. It's all air. But like, you know circumference-wise. Yeah, like, 160 pounds, it, it doesn't tell me much, because, like, how dense is an octopus? Like, what weighs more, a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? You know? The steel is heavier than feathers. How would my mother react if an octopus sent me a video of her? She'd probably respond like LOL. Be like LOL and then like a like a crying laughing emoji. They weigh the same? No, steel's heavier than feathers. That's not rocket science. One kilogram is one kilogram? Steel's heavier than feathers. Chat, I don't know what to tell you. I, wa I watched the skit just like everybody else, and it, it's, he says it right at the very beginning. You literally can't miss it. He asks, what's heavier, a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? And then he says right away, that's it. That's right, it's steel, because steel is heavier than feathers. And I'm like, yeah, S preach. Preach, brother. You just have a lot more feathers than steel is all. But steel is heavier than feathers. Did you consider that? Weight is not the same as density. I'm with you. I'm with you. The steel is more dense than the feathers, so the steel weighs more than the feathers, though. Like, they're, they're correlated. I'm in my gremlin mood. Can you blame me? I've been fishing for this octopus for, like, two hours. We've hit a dry streak. I've, I don't even remember the last time we've seen an octopus now. Your down comforter is pretty heavy. But it would be heavier if it was full of steel, right? Like, that's... You, you can't argue with that. Chat, you can't argue with facts. You like the answer that the feathers are heavier, but because you also have to deal with the weight of the guilt of how you got those feathers? I just I just ripped open a bunch of pillows. I don't know what you're doing to get all the feathers. Your blanket is full of glass? Are you jigsaw? Maybe we need to pretend we're not trying to catch an octopus. Try and juke him out. I don't know. I, I, I respect Ollie more than that. I don't want to try and, like, you know, trick Ollie into joining our side. I, I want to I meet him on his terms. Where did the pillow get the feathers, though? That's not up to me to decide. Maybe it grew them itself.
Yeah, birds do drop feathers naturally, so it's like it's you know you can't guarantee that you that you got them in uh in barbaric ways. Maybe they just followed the birds around with a big like pillow sack and just waited for however long it takes. The same argument is why kill animals when you just buy meat at the grocery store. You know what? I got no defense. You're absolutely right. <laughs> that said, I'm all for eating meat that's been like grown in a lab instead. I'm, w I'm willing to go that way. Assu assuming that no harm comes to animals from laboratory grown meat. And we get to the point where, you know, the lab meat tastes the same as the normal meat. That seems like a win-win to me. There's probably some horrible downside that I'm not privy to. But I'm not privy to it yet, so I, I, ignorance is bliss for now. Until someone in chat tells me, like... Argon, don't you know? To get the stuff that they need to grow the lab meat, they have to kill seven people. And I'll be like, oh, probably don't do that then. Lab-grown meat is very expensive at the moment. That's probably the main limiting factor, yeah, but... I mean, give it, give it you know, a couple decades. Maybe even less than that, because, you know, it's, uh... Science, science and technology are growing faster at an exponential rate, more so than ever before. What about crickets? I've tried, uh, not crickets, but grasshoppers before. They were pretty good. I think if they're, like, seasoned the right way, then, and, like, prepared in, just in, a, in a good way. I, I wouldn't just, like, go and, like, pick up a grasshopper off the ground and eat it. But like if they're if they're prepared properly, yeah, absolutely. I can get behind that. Once you get past the legs. Yeah, it, I think it's worth it, you know, have a few have a few legs stuck in your teeth for a little while. Rip. Rip to the seafoam pudding. Maybe there's one chance now? There's one chance for a Joja Cola. Slap in the face, honestly. Who's throwing Joja Cola out into the ocean? Full cans of Joja Cola? Empty cans I can understand, you know, coming across, because cause that's, uh, that's the nature of humanity sometimes, but, but full cans of Joja Cola? It can't be that bad. If you have a choice between vegetarianism and bugs, you're choosing vegetarianism? What's your thing, bugs? Fantastic PSA. I mean, like I said, when it comes to food, I'll try just about anything once. Including including all types of bugs. There was one year at a... Uh, it was like a local fair. Where they had... Um, it's not a bug, per se, but they had scorpion pizza. I heard about it from, like, some friends, but I never got around to actually going down and getting to try it. And it's my, it's my, it's my biggest regret in life that I never tried the scorpion pizza. <laughs> I just imagine it would be really crunchy. I mean, you're probably not eating, like, the scorpion shell, necessarily. But, like, I feel like it would still be crunchy regardless. No, thank you. I mean, I'd rather have a scor the scorpion on my pizza than in my shoe or something. I've heard horror stories like that before, like where someone goes to put on their shoe and there's a scorpion inside, and I'm like, I'm glad I don't live in parts of the world where that happens. All I have to worry about are black widows.
you need bug flower without issue. I've heard of bug flower before, where, where like the bugs are like finely ground into like a flower-like consistency. Does it actually work the same way as regular flour though? Like, like, can you use it to make bread, or is it like just uh, called bug flour because it looks like flour? Need crabs and lobster, crawdads and shrimp. Not much different from bugs. True. It's weird. It's weird where we draw the line sometimes, but people do draw that line. They're like, "Oh yeah, I love me a good lobster," but uh, but, they, but they won't go. They won't eat a scorpion for some reason. You probably have to add in a gluten substitute if you want to make bread. How are we still at 33 octopi? I don't know. I don't know where they all went. We started talking about other stuff, and now now Ollie is just is just shy. They went off to make the sequel without me. The disrespect. Beatrix is just as much part of this story as anyone. Come on, Ophelia. I'll, I'll even I'll, I will take Ophelia at this point. Just just show me that someone's still out there. Someone's still listening, please. Twenty seven seconds left on the seafoam pudding. We're talking about seafood. <laughs> We're talking about insects. Octopi are not insects. They're like they're like the opposite. Sleep for a day as a treat? No, I promised I promised myself we would not see the sun again until we catch an octopus. And I'm holding true to that statement. We're riding out this storm one way or another. The only way that we'll see the sun again before we catch an octopus is if we decide to invest in an enchanted fishing pole. But times are going to have to get pretty desperate before I resort to that, I think, because that is that is a bit of an investment. It would be a fun little side adventure, probably, but it would, t it would take longer than I'm willing to commit right now, when, especially once we got so close to catching Ollie that one time. Like, we were literally within, like, like pixels. Pixels, I tell you, pixels. Thirty-four octopi. At least we. At least the drought is over, right? <laughs> Fifty octopi. Nah. If before we consider like an enchanted fishing pole, two hundred octopi minimum. I'm. I will not be broken so easily. Eighty-nine percent of chat still does believe that we'll catch the octopi octopus this stream. Although, I guess a lot of those votes are pretty old right now. Maybe we can re-poll it and see how people are feeling now that we have a, a taste for for the grind. Yeah, that was, that was definitely Ollie. It wasn't intense enough to be Ophelia, and it wasn't, uh, like, suspicious enough to be to be Oscar. That was just a... that was, that was straight-up Ollie right there. So like an hour left. We got about an hour and a half. 90 minutes remaining in the stream. Will we catch Ollie or Oscar this stream? People who come in without the, without the the context for this poll are going to be so confused. I'm not even including Ophelia in the question. I reset the poll now, so it's guaranteed. So, solid 89%. It's, you know, it's still holding strong. I respect it. The optimism is is strong still. It's palpable. I feel it in the air. I'm, I'll do my best, Chad. I'll do my best by you. 
You're filling me with more determination than ever before. I'm not gonna lie, but before I started this stream, I think there was a moment where my optimism dipped to like 90%. I was like, you know, I was thinking to myself, like, catching an octopus at like fishing level five basically is like, <laughs> that, is, that is one of the hardest things. It, it might be one of the one of the hardest tests of skill that, that we've had in Stardew Valley and any of the challenges so far. It is it is not easy, but certainly not impossible either. Especially with that one that one attempt that we had where we were so close. That's what really bolstered my. Ooh, pardon me. That's what really bolstered my optimism back to 100%. I think. You misclicked? No, Squiggly! Wait, what did you misclick on? <laughs> on the poll? Did you mean to vote no and you accidentally clicked yes? Sunk cost vibes? That is tuna. Without context, you would expect the answer should be Ollie or Oscar rather than yes or no. <laughs> What a twist! It's okay, Squiggly. I forgive you. Remember the lava eel? What level were we when we caught the lava eel? I don't even remember. We were, we were higher than this, surely. I don't know if we were level 10 at the lot with the lava eel, but... In fact, I'm pretty sure we weren't. I need to go back to the catching the legend with a bamboo pole head space. You're right. Forever Plue, I think I think you're absolutely right. I just need to get in the right mindset. That said, I still I still do want my seafoam pudding. <laughs> Part of me believes I could get into the mindset to catch an octopus at, at purely level one fishing now, but. I think, uh, I think it would take more time than any of us have, either today or in the next, you know, calendar year. But it's probably it's probably within the po realms of possibility. What do I think the final goal to stream ratio will be? I'm gonna hope it's not like one to one or higher. If this takes, like, you know, 565 streams to complete the randomizer, I think something's gone horribly wrong. No, the bounce! The oh, thank you. Ah, <laughs> Ollie, Ollie, my man. Oh, he knows how to put on a show. I'll give him that. I'll get. I'll give Ollie that much. He knows how to put on a theatrical performance. He's not gonna make it too easy. He's not gonna make it too hard. He's he, he's good at hitting that sweet spot. When it just holds still for a little while, I know. When he when he just chills out for a minute, he's thinking back to that. Uh, to, to Marina, telling him the original story of Ophelia. And he, he just calms down for a moment, and he remembers the golden days. And then he remembers that he's in the fight of his life all over again. That one was a thriller. Those, those are the kind of catches you, you hold on for, that's for sure. We get like one of those every hour, it feels like. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I have to get quiet at this point when the uh, when the chance rolls around. I feel like I gotta take uh, take the chances when they come and and put as much focus as I can into it. Oh, 
Oh, what? No, it was behind him. It was behind him. <laughs> oh, boy. Ollie. Ollie. We're coming for you. You know what I gotta do? I gotta, I got when it, when when he comes around next, I gotta like forget that I'm even streaming. It's gotta be just me and the octopus. Me and young Oliver. I have to enter like a flow state. Yeah, everyone leave. <laughs> Zero viewers, and all of a sudden, we, all of a sudden, we catch it. No, please don't go. Please don't go. What am I gonna talk about? Who am I gonna talk to? How much time we got left on this? One? Five seconds. Five seconds in a dream. Oh, <laughs> that have been if that had been Ollie right there, that would have been fantastic. You're not watching, you swear? Yeah, every, everyone cover your eyes. Everyone cover your eyes for this next attempt. You don't have to do it right now, but next time we uh, next time we hook one of the octopi, everyone's got to cover their eyes. Okay. Promise me, chat. Do you promise? Do you promise? I'm seeing pure silence in chat. Maybe everyone really did leave. <laughs> You're hoping for 38. That's your favorite number. I'm closing in on it. You're closing the heck in. Can't type with your eyes covered. I told you you could leave them open for right now. You, you can leave them open for, for this moment. But once once the octopus rolls around, you just have to you have to rely on your ears only. Ears only. I think Ollie's waiting for 42. The answer to to life, the universe, and everything. Rasa, what are you fishing for? If you could do me a favor and 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 go catch an octopus as well, some solidarity could probably prove useful here. Chat, my Paradolia is starting to get the best of me. I'm starting to imagine that this island is like a... It has, like, arms, you know? You see, like, these two trees are its arms. And it's going to rise out, like, Pacific Rim style and, and become, like, a super, like, nature mech or something. I'm starting to make up even more stories in my head. New save file and it's spring. I believe in you, Rasa. You're catching a catfish. Okay, that's that is that is the octopus of the early game. Solidarity accepted. A talus? Island talus. No spoilers. I haven't found any other taluses in, in Tears of the King Kingdom yet. That's not true, actually. I found I found one. I found one talus in Tears of the Kingdom. So far. But I haven't played enough Tears of the Kingdom to to know. I'll tell you though, the internet, it's it's a scary place for Tears of the Kingdom enjoyers right now. If you don't have much time to play it like me, and you and you frequent the internet, it's like it's like the Matrix out there. I'm dodging I'm dodging spoilers like I'm dodging bullets. I'll see like a thumbnail that has like a picture of like what I presume to be the final boss or, or some final cutscene in it, and I'll be like, nope, just nope on out of there. It's a it's a rough it's a rough time. 
but I'm doing my best. You had octopus dreams? What do you mean, unfortunately? Sounds very fortunate to me. Sounds, sounds like Ollie blessed you. No octopus dreams. Ah, <laughs> The typos are real. It's okay. It's okay. We don't need octopus dreams when we can make octopus reality. What's my opinion on Spider-Man 2? Which Spider-Man 2 are we talking about? Are we talking about Spider-Man 2 from the Sam Raimi trilogy? Starring Tobey Maguire? Are we talking about Spider-Man 2? The video game from the GameCube? Where you swing around New York City and collect like little spider tokens and stuff? One of my favorite games of all time as a child. I have, I have very fond memories. No talking about Spider-Man right now, please. But we don't want to talk about Spider-Man like the like the new one, because I I mean I haven't seen it, but we don't want spoilers either way. Yeah, we want to, no one talk about the new one. It's still very fresh, so no spoilers. But I have a great fondness for the uh, for the Sam Raimi trilogy for sure. Definitely my favorite Spider-Man that I've ever seen is, is like those three movies. I know they're kind of like... Okay, Ophelia. <laughs> Flex, girl. Um, I know, yeah, I know they're kind of like hokey and, you know, meme-ish now, but that's part of what I love about them. I love the rise of a bully Maguire as a meme. Somehow you avoided even knowing such a movie existed. It's like the second uh, Into the Spider-Verse movie is the one that's like out now, right? I saw a trailer for it at some point, I think, but that's about the extent of what I know about it. There's also The Amazing Spider-Man 2. You paused it in 2015 to make a sandwich. You're still on pause. <laughs> oh, the disrespect, Cass. Guess it wasn't that amazing after all, huh? Yeah, but if you've never seen the Spider-Man movies starring Tobey Maguire, you should you should definitely definitely seek them out if you can. Seek them out and watch them because they are. They're top tier content, in my opinion. I I can I watch them through nostalgia tinted glasses. It's un undeniable, but even so, I think they hold up. They hold up in in kind of like a goofy way. Andrew Garfield was a great Peter Parker in bad films. I don't think I ever saw the Andrew Garfield uh, Spider-Mans. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know who that was. Chat, who was that? I, it, it felt like Ollie at first, but then it's like Ollie... Chat, what if Ollie's going to the dark side? What if all... What if... Oscar has been getting inside Wally's head. Not Wally, Ollie. No. Our precious Ollie. What if, what if Ollie turns out to be like an Anakin Skywalker? I can't, I can't, I can't live in a world where Ollie becomes the villain, dude. Ophelia cosplays as Ollie briefly. <laughs> Maybe that's the true lore. Ollie's getting mad. Ollie's about to put up a fight. Ollie's getting stronger. Need to save Ollie from himself. All right, we're not gonna we're not gonna hook anything here. 
Let me hook. Chat, let me hook. Let me hook an octopus. You weren't looking like you promised. That's fair. You know what? I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I don't know. It was. It was. It felt like Ollie at first, but it, it descended into Oscar. I feel like we're watching a war unfold or something. Ollie can smell our fear. Be courageous. You hear me, Ollie? I'm not afraid anymore. All right, that didn't work. Mostly because that was Ophelia, but. <laughs> Chat, you always know it's Ophelia if it's if she's only on the line for like a second. It's impossible to keep Ophelia on the line for longer than I wanna say maybe two seconds if you get lucky. If you happen to catch her moments after her royal luncheon, then uh then there's a chance. She might be a little sluggish on the get up and go, but she'll be back in the action before you know it. Next Ollie is the one, you can feel it. I hope so, Alice, I hope so. Unfortunately right now, it seems it's like it's, it's Lionfish and Tuna Central. Maybe Ollie can remember the resets. <laughs> They're trapped in the Groundhog Day loop with us. She's girl bossing us so hard. Oh. No, that's not that's not anything. It was like kinda darting for a second. But this is this is a lionfish or something. It like it darted for a hot second, but that was definitely not uh, not anybody. You know this ends with Blade deliberately finding the hardest day, time and place to catch an octopus, doing it and declaring Ophelia caught. <laughs> it's the only way it could end. Catching an octopus, level zero fishing, no buffs, no uh and no and no fishing tutorial allowed. But as hard as it gets, as far as I can tell. We are at 38. We're closing in on 40. Unfortunately, 38 was not our lucky number today, but... Maybe 39. Maybe... No, that's a tuna. That's a tuna. You can tuna fish, but you can't tuna ball. Alright? You gotta obtain Bear's Knowledge as your next goal, and it's the only secret nobody you haven't gotten yet? No! Oh no, do you have an easy way to get maple syrup at least when you do get the secret note? Or is that gonna be a, uh, its own special grind? Best of luck to you either way, Sarah. I have faith. I think finding the secret note, if it's the only one you haven't found yet, maybe it won't take that long. Wishful thinking, possibly, but... <laughs> That's a tuna, and we're out of seafoam pudding. I forgot it was syrup, maple syrup and not honey. <laughs> You had that Winnie the Pooh vibe going. Oh, bother. I'll take the blame on that one. I don't mind. It's like water off an octopus's back. Chat, does an octopus have a back? Or is an octopus just like all front? Because like, don't octopi, they have like eyes on like the side of their their heads, right? On the side of their, their bobbins. And obviously, they don't have, like, a spine. 
that's not that's not me like trying to insult them i'm just, like obviously ophelia is very courageous ophelia and ollie both but like like physically they don't have a spine To be honest, honey makes more sense, but honey would be too easy. It's the thing. Octopi are not the the type of animal that has only one axis of symmetry. <laughs> Very valid point. As soon as you think you've pinpointed the back of an octopus, suddenly you're staring right into its eyes. The octopus cannot be pinned down. Can't wait to make Oscar into a short. I think you meant shirt, but now I'm thinking of making a YouTube short out of <laughs> out of out of the Oscar and Ollie Chronicles. I don't know how I would supercut that, but <laughs> that could be kind of fun. Oh, double secret note or double no journal scrap? And then this should be a golden walnut, I think. That's extremely rare, though. Each of those is a 1% chance. That's like we found like two chances in the in the safari zone back to back. Chat, have you ever endured the, uh, the soul crushing grind that is trying to catch a chancy in the safari zone in like any game? I've, I've gone through the process. I don't think I ever succeeded, though. I was like, I want that Chansey. Holy moly. Ophelia. <laughs> Ophelia even rarer than Chansey. Now try for a shiny Chansey. That's a special kind of hell that I don't wish upon anybody. But I know people have done it before. Also Kangaskhan. Traumatic memories of, of playing Pokemon Fire Red as a child arise. Never cared that much what you got in the Safari Zone except for the, uh, the HM. There's some really rare... What's the rare Pokemon in, uh, in, like, Gen 4s? In, like, the Sinnoh Safari Zone? I think there's, like, a few of them. The way the Sinnoh Safari Zone works is kind of wild. Like, it's, like, it, like they change from day to day, right? There's... Because there's... I remember looking for one Pokemon. I can't remember what it is now. In the, in the Sinnoh Safari Zone. And just having, like, the, the darndest time finding it. I want to say it was I it was one of the three things for sure. It was Carnivine, it was Scorupy, or it was uh, Crogunk. But I don't know which one. Whizcash? Nah, but Whizcash is probably like my favorite water type Pokemon, I wanna say. Whizcash is really cool. Big fan of Whizcash. Although, you know what, there is a second water type Pokemon that I, uh, that holds a special place in my heart just because I have a, it's, I really like saying its name. Can you guess? Can you guess which, which water type Pokemon I enjoy saying the name of? It, it just has a great cadence to its name. I'll give you a hint, it's not that far removed from what we're looking at right now. From what, from like the process that we're doing. Kukumuku? No, that is a good name, though. Ludicolo. Tentacruel? No, Tentacruel is a jellyfish. There's, there's no. Yeah, smiley. Octillery. I just love saying it. Like I love saying octillery. It just puts a smile on my face to say octillery. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I love Octillery, dude. Octillery. 
I don't know why I say it like that, but it's just <laughs> makes me laugh every time, dude. Like trying to say the word bubble. Octillery. I just wish Octazuka was a better move. Has anyone has any Pokemon been able to learn Octazuka other than Octillery, like ever? Other than like Smeargle or something? I feel like the answer is yes, but I don't know who I don't know who would learn Octazuka. A couple have. Horsey and Remoraid can via breeding. Well, Remoraid doesn't count because Remoraid evolves into Octillery. Also, can we talk about that for a second? Like, most, like, nonsensical... And talk about most nonsensical evolutions of all time. Remoraid evolves into Octillery? How does that happen? Like, you look at most Pokemon evolutions, you can see it. If you look at, at Remoraid and Octillery side by side, you'd be like, these are two separate Pokemon. Like, why, do, why does a Remora evolve into an octopus? Is that how it works in real life? <laughs> Little baby Remora, if you let them live long enough, they just sprout tentacles and, and vibe? Is this science? There's a new one in Gen 8, or Gen, yeah, Gen 8, called Grappalox that can learn it. I know Grappalox. Grappalox's not a water type, is it? There's, there's Clavapus and Grappalox, and they're just fighting types. They're like, they're like octopus wrestlers. They're the Oscar to Octillery's Ollie. Gonna go work on your composing an email now that you're speaking the foreign language known as Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, Pelinar, can't win them all. I, I, I gotta t I gotta talk about what I know, and sometimes what I know is Pokemon. That said, I have yet to play Scarlet and Violet. They look really fun though. Big fan of the idea behind like terrestrialization. But other than uh, other than Gen Nine. My Pokemon knowledge is is on lock. I feel like I know like gens one through eight pretty well, honestly. Not as much Gen eight. I didn't play it all that much, but uh, but still enough to to get by. To know all about you know Calyrex and and Spectrier and Glastrier. Cub Fu. Have I played Pokemon Infinite Fusion? No, I've se I've seen a lot of videos about it, like in my recommended and stuff. It seems like a cool time being able to like combine Pokemon like that, and they've got like actual cool sprites. The closest I've gotten is there's like a website that uh, that lets you like experiment with like what fusions you can get. I don't know if it's specific to like like if the website is actually like of the Infinite Fusion Pokemon. But I played around with that website for a little bit to see, like, what cool fusions I could get. And I actually, uh, like, Spiritomb is my favorite Pokemon, so I was trying to fuse Spiritomb with, like, a lot of a lot of other Pokemon. And I now have a folder in my, in my pictures on my computer called Spiritomb Fusions That Go Hard. Because I just, I just saved a bunch of them because I thought there were so many that were so cool. There's like an old fusion website, but this is like a newer, like more sophisticated version where like some of them are like custom sprites and stuff. Not all of them. Some some of the sprites still end up looking like real derpy. But there are, there's a lot of them that are like some of the more I guess common fusions or just like people had ideas for fusions. I think it's like a community project where people can like uh, people have like shared their ideas for fusions. 
Of course, my favorite Pokemon is Spiritomb. Why is that so... Why, why is that, like, an of course thing? <laughs> what, is it because, like, Spiritomb in the, in the game that it originated in was, like, the hardest Pokemon of all to get, except maybe, like, Manaphy? He's my logo right now. My logo is of an Argon Atom, and you'll respect it. Spiritomb's not even green. He's, like, mostly purple with, like, a little bit of green. Chat, I I'll tell you right now, though, if you want to be blown away, go find that, like, Infinite Fusion website. I don't know. I don't remember what it, um, what it was called or anything, but you can probably find it with a little bit of Google Foo. And, uh, fuse Spiritomb and Mewtwo and have your socks blown off. It was, it was, it, it stunned me to my core. It was really good. You remember when I did that absolutely insane Pokemon naming quiz? <laughs> that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, honestly. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I would actually be able to name all the Pokemon who existed at that time. But, uh, but we made it through. Spoilers. Like, for spoilers for that stream, I guess. But Is it the one in the jar? It's the one in, like, the laboratory, whatever the heck it is. I don't even know. I forget what it, I forget what it is. Yeah, Spir Spiritomb Mewtwo is pretty cool. I don't know if it was my favorite, though. I want. I want to go look now. Chat, you got me. You got me wanting to look at my at my Spiritomb infusions now. You've you've officially derailed me, chat. You've officially derailed my octopus grind. I gotta take a breather for Spiritomb infusions. Who would have thought it would come to this? But here we are now. All right. You thought I was joking? If you thought I was joking, by the way, that I have a folder with Spiritomb fusions on my on my desktop now, behold, it's Spiritomb and Aegislash. These are these are Spiritomb fusions that go hard. All right, and you will respect it. Spiritomb. So we got Spiritomb and Aegislash. You got Alakazam. Be pretty good, right? You got Alakazam. What the heck is this? This is Beedrill? It's 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 freaking phenomenal is what it is. I failed to catch 39 Octopi, that is correct. Yes. <laughs> we got freaking Blastoise. Look at this look at this mummified Blastoise. Look at him go. This guy's so cool. This guy looks like something like a D and D monster you would find in like a in a, like a dark labyrinth. Do I need to like zoom in more? Let's, let's zoom in a little bit more here. There's Spirit <laughs> This one just makes me laugh, dude. This this one freaking makes me laugh. Look at look at this guy. This Bulbasaur Spirit Tomb is such a good idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Spirit Tomb Butterfree! You can't tell me that's not the best idea of all time. The Metapod stone into a Butterfree? Yeah, these are hand drawn. These are like all custom sprites. From from that website. This is Clef this is Clefable. <laughs> Clefable looking mighty sad down there. All right, that's it's that's enough. Uh, it's enough. That's a that's a that's a good enough spirit tomb break for now. Don't worry, we I got more spirit tombs for the future though. I just gotta get my windows back in order now. All whooshing right over in my head, but they looked cool, right? They looked cool. Anyway, we got a reset. We were out of seafoam pudding. They're hand drawn. Yeah, I believe they have a like. If you go to like the the Infinite Fusion website where you where I found all those, they have like a. You can like fuse them, and then it gives like the credits for like who drew all of them. Unfortunately, I don't have the credits on hand. Otherwise, I absolutely would, but I don't uh, don't have them on hand. But I can direct you to where you can find them. 
Either way, let's catch an octopus, shall we? En enough mucking around. Come on, boys, quit mucking around. Let's go. Let's go. Ca let's go find Ollie. We've given all the octopi a nice long siesta. They've uh, they've dragged us along for long enough. It's time. It's time to make this happen. Can we get some octopus emojis in chat? I haven't called for it all stream. But can we just get, like, a wave of octopus emojis to, to try and, like, call them out? Like the story said, it's all about unity. It's all about unity, togetherness, working together to overcome a challenge. Maybe they just need, just, they just need to see that they won't be alone. Just load up all the octopus emojis. It's beautiful. I've never I've never seen a more beautiful wave of emojis. Ollie, Ollie, Oscar, Ophelia, don't you want to be a part of this? I'll I'll take any of you at this point. I'll I'll take any of you. I'll be glad to see you. Please. That's a lionfish. It's a lionfish. That's like Ophelia's palace guard or something. You're from my same generation, and who the who the heck is Clefable? Clefable is from is an OG from the original 151 Pokemon. Clefable Clefable is uh is older than time immemorial. Well, maybe not, but you know, not quite as old as Rhyhorn. Rhyhorn, the very first Pokemon ever conceived, but uh, but up there. Come on. Oc look at look at all the octopus emojis. They're coming out. They're coming out in waves. Rhydon was first, not Rhyhorn. Eh, same difference. They're basically the same Pokemon. Have you seen them? Rhydon is just Rhyhorn, but he stood up. That's the thing. People get like people get uh, upset about like lazy evolutions or like lazy Pokemon designs in recent games. When you go back to Gen One, and there's like five different Pokemon that are like, here's 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 the Pokemon, and then when it evolves, it's like here's three of that Pokemon to, like attached together. You got your Dodrio, you got your Doug Trio, you got your Magneton. Like, what's going on? <laughs> you got freaking Weezing? Weezing fits that bill, too, honestly. You got Grimer? Hey, he's a pile of sludge. What does he evolve to into? A bigger pile of sludge. Look at this dude. He's He looks like a Pokeball. Oh, we gotta make an evolution for him? Just flip him upside down. It's fine. Like what? <laughs> you can't tell me. Just, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I got the nostalgia for him, just like everybody else does who played those games. But uh, you can't tell me that that's peak. That's peak Pokemon design. What did I expect this pile of sludge to do? I don't know. I'm not the one designing the Pokemon. That's not. That's not my fault. Polyworld and the Polyrath gets you every time. I mean, I do joke about stuff like that, but you know, you know what the, pe the you know what the peak of that truly is. It's not Gen One. It's Gen. It's definitely in Gen Nine, the most recent generation. Because doesn't Dunsparce it just evolve into the Dunsparce, and he just like gets a little longer. <laughs> I thought that was a meme when I first saw, it, but I think it's actually true. Unlike Lechonk, I think it's actually a real thing. Octopi eat worms, crustaceans, and other fish. That checks out. Octopi don't have beaks, right? Like, that's only squids that have beaks. 
The Dunsparce has lore reasons, though. I mean, I love the Dunsparce because it's so funny that, like, they finally gave Dunsparce the evolution. And then, uh... <laughs> that everyone wanted him to have. And he just, he just looks exactly the same. <laughs> it's so good. Pommy evolves into a slightly bigger Pommy called Pommo. <laughs> that one I did not know. Also, what's up with Love Disc not evolving into Alamomola? I distinctly remember when Gen 5 was being announced, Pokemon Black and White, and like we were seeing the new Pokemon as they were rolling out. You see Alamomola, and you're like, oh, finally Love Disc is getting an evolution. Eh, wrong. They're just going to have two Pokemon, both designed after the same obscure fish. Make it make sense. They're both pink and everything. Like, what? <laughs> Digimon isn't better. Look up Bakemon and Soulmon. Who's Bakemon? Is that like a cake? I will say, even though I haven't played Gen 9, I've seen a lot of the Pokemon that are in it. And, uh... And they find I know they finally fulfilled one of my lifelong dreams for a dolphin Pokemon. I don't know what the dolphin Pokemon is called though, but I've seen him and he's pretty cute. Need to lure the octopus in with snails? Where am I supposed to get snails? I guess we can do snail emojis. Right now I'm in my my octopus doldrums though. Yeah, the fact that it took so long for a dolphin-based Pokemon is kind of wild. They really went and made a Pokemon out of a key ring before they made one out of a dolphin. Crab pots? I mean, I do have crab pots, but I can't catch a snail because catch a snail is its own goal. Still no lobster Pokemon, though. I guess Corefish is about the closest we get, huh? go quietly into this rainy night. Don't do this. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Please. Please, no! Holy! Oh, oh! Oh, the adrenaline of that one, dude. The adrenaline was was flowing through me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there was like there were like two moments there where it was like, oh he's gonna be gone, and then we fought back from the brink, and then oh my gosh. Oh. Oh my heart can't take this anymore. <laughs> This is absurd, dude. Ollie, please. Ollie, give me another chance. Give me another chance. Just one more chance. It's all I need, I promise. That's a Joja Cola. And this is going to be a golden walnut, I think. Was that Oscar? No, that was definitely Ollie. I, when, I, when I see Ollie, I know Ollie. I don't think that was Oscar. Golden walnut. Am I sure I want to wait another 160 fails to enchant the rod? Yeah. Yeah, I'm willing to do that. Don't forget, you're talking to the person who streamed searching through garbage cans for, uh, for like a full month to find a cactus fruit. You have, you have not even 
see I haven't even used 1% of my power on this octopus grind yet. Not even 1% of my patience. Ollie going through a villain arc. <laughs> Come on, Ollie. Come back to the light side. This isn't you. This isn't you, Ollie. You're better than this. They're not fails. They're just practice in building a positive relationship with Ollie. I'm with you. Yeah, bu building up our friendship with Ollie. Having our, our tussle with Oscar. And the mutual respect between us and Olivia. Not Olivia, Ophelia. O Olivia is, uh, is Ollie's twin sister. The secret hidden character that you unlock at the end of the game. In which stream did I get the cactus fruit, or is that a spoiler? I mean, it is a spoiler, but... You can go find it. I can tell you if you want, but, um, you know, I'll probably not tell you, because I don't want to spoil anyone who might be going through that right now. Ollie just self-actualized and wants you to work for his commitment. <laughs> I can respect that. Ollie knows his worth. We admire a self-confident king. Absolutely. I aspire to be one-tenth as, as sure of my own worth as, as Ollie is. Keep the Argon Matrix spoilers out of general. Very true. I mean, in the Discord, keep the keep the spoilers for the streams to stream discussion is why it's there. And uh, uh and for for all else, there are spoiler tags. But even that, even those, you know, it was somewhere past stream seven. Sounds like a wickety kind of answer. Is this the most difficult fish I could have rolled at level 1 fishing? That depends. What do you think is harder, the crimson fish or the octopus? Because the crimson fish is technically on the radar now. The, the prerequisite for the crimson fish... You, you need level 5 fishing in order to catch it. But that can be with fish buffs. So... Level 1 fishing it is. So it's technically, I mean, we could we could go right into that after catching the octopus if uh, if Yoba decides to play a cruel prank on us. A little divine prank. Legend? I would contend the legend is harder than, than both of them, for sure. But between the two? Hard to say. They feel about uneven keel to me. Which makes sense if they're both uh, 95 difficulty, like I believe we confirmed earlier. Yeah, thankfully neither the legend nor the glacier fish can be rolled yet because the we don't meet the level requirements. That said, one more fishing level and the glacier fish is also on the table, so it does depend how much uh, XP the glacier fish is worth. I don't know if you can actually technically like li like literally roll it at fishing level two now with the new uh, code I put in place. I don't remember how much XP the glacier fish is worth versus like the I think you have like at that point you'll have like 390 XP worth of whale room until your next level, so You think octopus is definitely harder than crimson fish? I don't know. I've had some I've had some tangles with the Chris, with the crimson fish. 
I, don't, I feel like the people don't give the Crimson Fish enough credit. They like go in, they're like, oh yeah, the Crimson Fish is like one of the easier le legendary fish. Then they go to catch it, and they're like, dude, why is this so hard? It's supposed to be one of the easier ones. And, you know, it still doesn't take that long, especially because most people probably only go for it if they're, like, already a decently high fishing level. I feel like the vast majority of people don't go to catch the legendary fish, like, right when they're available. Like, show me one person who goes and actually catches the glacier fish when they hit level 6 fishing without any buffs or anything, and I'll, I'll show you a liar. Do I find the scorpion carp difficult? Not even remotely, no. I could catch the scorpion carp, like, back to back to back without failing, like, at all. Even at this, like, the base level for it, like, because you need, you need, you do need level four fishing to hook a scorpion carp, which is honestly, like, too high. It's pathetic. No disrespect to anybody who does have trouble with the Scorpion Carp. It's just, you know, I'm built different, I guess. But jokes aside, Scorpion Carp, I guess, like, can be tough sometimes, so... <laughs> Last file, you got the Glacier Fish with no buff on your first try. You just got really lucky. Were you... Malehu, can I ask? Were you only level 6 fishing? Or were you level 10? Either way, impressive. But, like... To be germane to the question at hand... It, it would have to be level 6. Yeah, Scorpion Carp from the Trash. I've had my fair share of Scorpion Carp from the Trash. I think we got one from the Trash during this challenge, even. Didn't we? At some point. Bruh. Crimson Fish was the first and possibly only legendary fish. You you hooked before you lived on the wiki, so you didn't even know what the fish was. <laughs> oh man, I miss those times. That'll be so cool when Haunted Chocolatier comes out and being able to like have that have those feelings of rediscovery all over again for a game for a game like this, another game by Concerned Ape. That's gonna be so cool whenever that comes to pass. Beyond anything else, I think that's the thing I'm anticipating most out of Haunted Chocolatier is just the the magic. Just getting to feel the magic again before the for the wiki editors, you know. Describe everything. But not not to disparage any wiki editors, don't get me wrong. I, I don't know where I would be without the Stardew Valley Wiki right now. But, uh... But there's something special about those times before, like, a wiki gets made for a game and... Holy moly. I think, th I think that was Ophelia. I know I held her... I held on to her longer than... than usual. But I, th I still think that was Ophelia. That was that was very intense. I was I was like starstruck. I was like, oh my gosh, this octopus is so based. And she was like, I know, and then she left. Stardew was like gaming comfort food at this point, you know exactly what to expect. It's true, I mean it is it's very comforting to me, even when I'm in the depths of, uh, of octopus hell. I'm still having a great time. Like I said in Salmence's video about the, the, the Stardew opinions, I'm, I'm relaxed playing Stardew no matter what. No matter what. That was calm for Ophelia. There was a moment of calm within the storm there. It's like Beatrix and Ophelia locked eyes for but a moment and, had, and shared like a, a brief little nod of respect and then Ophelia went about her usual like break dancing all over the end of my rod or whatever she does.
can't relax while they're playing games, otherwise you fall asleep. It's a different kind of relaxation from like traditional relaxation in my mind. Whenever I'm playing a game that I that I really enjoy and I'm relaxed and having a fun time with it, it's not the same as when I'm like, you know, like lying down and just like taking a, taking a little siesta. I still call it relaxation because I feel relaxed at the, the time I'm playing it. I'm, I'm very much not stressed out most of the time. But I'm, uh, it's different, you know? Sounds like flow state. That, that would have been the perfect time to hook an octopus, is all I'm gonna say. If I started talking about flow state and then we get into the, get to the octopus. But yeah, that kind of is what it is. That was that was decidedly not flow state. I don't know what the heck I was doing that time, but oh, oh yeah, we gotta add add one to the counter. That was forty two. That was octopus number forty two. I repeat, we have surpassed forty two. This is not a drill. And we press on to forty three. How's the 80% of chat that uh, that believes we will catch the fish this stream feeling right now? We got about 30 minutes left in the stream. A little over 30 minutes, maybe. 30 to 40 minutes, I would say. How we feeling? One must believe. Still feel good about it? Absolutely. That's what you love to hear. That's what, I, that's what I love about you guys. I, I just, I, I ask a question like that and you immediately know how it goes. It's like, we're optimistic. We know we're going to do it. It's like, how much time is left in the stream? Five minutes? Sound, sounds like enough time for, you know, one or two more hooks to me. Yo, thank you, Colleen. Just, just voted yes because you have blind faith in me. I, I appreciate that. And I also believe. I also believe in the, uh... I believe in the you that believes in the me that believes in you that believes in the Ollie that believes in me. We'll get it at 45 because it's 9 times 5 and it sounds good. I've never heard a more sound rationalization than that, to be honest with you. Sounds like a perfect reasoning to me. That does mean we have to fail two more times, though, which is not really in my wheelhouse. I'm not in the business of failing, especially not when I got a B underscore boss dot OGG at my back or in my ears. Come on. If you give me a chance, Ollie, if you just give me a chance while B boss is playing right now, that's all I need. Just give me give me the one chance. I'm sitting up in my seat. I'm I'm fixing my posture. I'm getting ready for for the battle of my life right now. Come on. Come on, Ollie. Show it to me, buddy. Those are glasses. Get that out of here. We get, we got to get it in. We got to go. Come on. We can make this happen. There's still time. It's a short song, but it's not that short. Ollie. Ollie. You hear the sound. You hear the sound. You hear the call. Hear the call of the best music. That's a lionfish. Quit lying to me. All right, we got we got chance. We got time for one more hook. One more hook while the bee boss is playing. The bees are dancing in chat. Come on. You know you want it. You know you want to try, Ollie. You know you want to get in get in on this bee emoji action. Turns out he doesn't. He's not that big of a fan of the bees, I guess. But now what about this song? Oh, this this is a song of a final showdown if I've ever heard one. Maybe he's scared of bees? I guess we're learning. Last time Ollie was too busy vibing out to the bee underscore boss to grab the hook. 
Come on. Nope. Just give me one chance. Give me one chance here, Ollie. One chance. It's all I need. It's all I need. I need, I need more than one chance, it turns out. I think that was Ollie. It, it kind of felt vaguely Ophelia adjacent, but I, I honestly believe that was Ollie. I think he heard our calls. I think he's just getting stronger. He's about, he's, he's starting to discover his true final form. Yeah, Ollie is, is he's no slouch. He is no slouch by any stretch of the imagination. Oscar? I'm worried. I feel like we haven't seen Oscar in a very long time. I don't know if that was Oscar. But I think Oscar's out there plotting something. Did I update the counter? I did, yeah. Oscar's doing something behind the scenes. He's up to his Machiavellian schemes or something like that. Who knows? Who knows what that dude's up to? All I know is I feel like we're probably going to see Oscar at least one more time before this grind is out. Is there a way to view the past goals? Exclamation point complete for a full list of all the, uh, the completed goals so far. It'll, be, it'll link you to a little spreadsheet that has, uh, has them tiled out nice and cleanly for you. For your viewing pleasure. Tell me about your day, says Haley. Haley, my day has been very good so far. I have spent, you know a very long time in this in this time loop on the rainy salty shores of Ginger Island searching for for my for my white whale of an octopus but i've gotten to learn a lot about octopus culture and the and the things that they hold dear like togetherness and and unity like you know i know we all we've all gotten very caught up in the lore of Ophelia and Ollie and let's not forget Marina and Oscar. But chat, I think something we've all been overlooking is the actual moral of that story, right? Like, it was talking all about unity, togetherness, how we have to stand together to overcome any challenge that comes our way. Like, I think it even used the word challenge. And I think we need to appreciate that, too. Need to respect that, and I think, you know what, honestly, just by being here, by being here to join me in this grind, on this journey, of a thousand, of a thousand casts, you all are doing your part. Everyone, everyone hold hands real quick. Yeah, J Sky's got the right ideas, just hold hands. Haley, send help, and then Haley says, I'm just gonna stay right here, it's perfect. <laughs> you missed a lot while you were at work today, apparently. Yeah, Bex, I don't, I don't uh, envy you stepping in and into this, uh, into the lore of Ollie the Octopus, Ophelia the Queen, and and Oscar the the scheming grouch of an octopus. Trust me, it's all very, it, it all makes perfect sense. When you go back and watch the, <laughs> if you if you go back and watch the vod. It's, it all makes perfect sense. Come on. Nope. One more, one more hook, one more hook. There's a, there's always a chance. I always, there's always a chance. Who needs seafoam pudding? Who needs it? Certainly not me. All right, but I'm going to take it anyway. Thank you for the hand-holding in chat, by the way. I appreciate it. In the immortal words of Zac Efron, we're all in this together.
Oscar is Ophelia's knight, and Ollie is the court jester. That sounds like an AU fanfic. I feel like Oscar is too too beguiling for Ophelia to enlist his service. And call it Ollie the court jester? I mean, you know what? There's there's a world, I suppose, but I feel like Ollie is too... I feel like Ollie is somewhat lion-hearted. He's, he's got the heart of a lionfish. In the immortal words of Sharpay, bop to the top. Don't ever stop. Gimme, gimme, shimmy, shimmy. Shake some booty and turn around. That's, that's, a, that's a lionfish. The lionfish and the tuna, they're starting to get to me. I shouldn't let it get to me too much, though. It's its, it's only a 12% chance for us to encounter an octopus of any kind. 12% not that high. But not that low, either. Technically, should disable the Crobus command on Friday streams. I've actually thought about that. Of just like, or just like, or just changing the Crobus command so all he says is like dot 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 or something. I have thought about that, but I've uh, I've never had the wherewithal to go through with it. That would be funny though. What happens if I finally catch an octopus and it's a high quality one? We take it. We we take the extra experience and we roll with it. I will not mind it at that point. Hey, Museum Grack Reads, thank you for the 99 cent super sticker looking like a diamond in the rough. This octopus is for you. Sorry, that's a lionfish, my mistake. So late, but here, no worries. Happy to have you here for, uh, for when we finally catch the octopus. Ollie is on his way. Ollie? Ophelia. <laughs> no, that, I, don't, I don't know if that was Ophelia. That felt a little too... Because Ophelia kind of, you know, like, she rises to the occasion a lot of times. She, like, shoots, like, right up to the top. That one was, like, it was trying to be Ophelia, and it fell short. I think that was Oscar. I think that was a, a fleeting sight of Oscar. For sure. That one was Ophelia. I don't know. Didn't feel like Ophelia to me. It felt a little too... A little too deceptive to be Ophelia, you know? You just don't recognize him at all? Maybe it was... Maybe there was a secret fourth octopus. Who knows? Maybe that was Olivia. Oscar is running. He's running scared. You know what that means? It means we're about to reach the we're reaching the climax here. We'll we'll cast number forty five. Hook number forty five of the octopus will be the one we need. Oh, I'm out of seafoam pudding. I'm here to catch octopi and eat pudding. And I'm all out of pudding. She says with pudding in her <laughs> inventory. This briny put pudding will really get you into the maritime mindset. Perhaps I need to eat seafoam pudding in real life then. To get into the maritime mindset. Does anyone have a spare midnight carp, flounder, and squid ink lying around? I've, I mean, I've got the flounder and the squid ink covered. I, I, I have those on standby, like, just as, like, snacks most of the time. The Midnight Carp is a bit of a tougher one. What the heck? 
I didn't mean to fish that way, but I guess it works. Alice, thank you for the 10 euro super chat. I greatly appreciate the generosity. Thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate that. Generosity and support. I love it. Thank you, thank you. Glad you're enjoying the stream. So right, literally. <laughs> so right, so true. Don't I have a midnight carp? I did catch a midnight carp the other day. Yeah, that was one of our uh, one of our goals. You're literally about to open your pudding as as a snack right now. Your last pudding. Is it a green pudding? Is it like pistachio pudding or something like that? I have pudding in my home right now, I think. I think I still have some pudding, but I think it's like chocolate pudding, not uh, not pistachio. Chat, what's your favorite kind of pudding? If you eat pudding on a regular basis, which I eat pudding probably more more regularly than, uh, than I should, honestly. Not like every day kind of thing, but you know, I usually have pudding like like a pudding cup or two just ready to go. I'm a big banana pudding fan. Banana pudding, it's, it's oh my gosh, it, it just hits different. I don't know how I can describe it better than that. Banana pudding is, uh, is top tier. What's pudding like? Have you never had pudding? Pudding is like, it's like its own state of matter. It's pudding. It's, it's really good. It's hard to describe though, without having like a reference. Rice pudding? Rice pudding is very high tier as well. Ooh, rice, rice pudding might give banana pudding a run for its money. It's kind of like its own separate entity, though. Like, you know, has, there's like a... Like, I feel like, like, you know, banana pudding, chocolate pudding, vanilla pudding, all these kinds of puddings, they fall into the same sort of general state of being. But rice pudding feels like its own, its own beast. I don't know if it's fair to compare them all, even though it's called pudding and it literally like is pudding, but lemon pudding is good. Lemon pudding's never been my favorite. I remember when we would get like the multi-packs of pudding as a kid, as kids, like when we were going through school and like uh, we'd have the multi-packs in the fridge of like all the, all like a few different flavors. And there were always lemon ones in there, like a lemon meringue pudding or something like that. And they were always the last ones I went for. I would still eat them, but I would be like, I would definitely go for like the I would definitely go for, like, the, the chocolate and vanilla and all that first. I got stun-locked, I'm sorry. You love tapioca pudding, but you haven't had it in forever? I can never really do tapioca pudding. I've tried it, don't get me wrong, I'll, I'll still eat it, it tastes fine, but the the little tapioca pellets, they, uh, they don't do anything for me. Oscar! <laughs> I definitely felt Oscar-like. That that felt like the most Oscar-like uh, octopus in a while. Rice pudding is a weekly Saturday food in Norway. Eco, what do you, what do you mean by that? Is there like a festival every Saturday? Everyone comes out into the street with a rice pudding cup in hand, and they just uh, they go to town, or like bowls of rice pudding. People flood out into the streets every Saturday. Shoot, I want to move there. Sounds great. Making pudding was some of the first cooking practice you got from your mom as a kid. I never made pudding. I've made jello, which is, you know, like similar in content because a lot of the time jello comes in the little cups and you eat it with a spoon and it's like this, a similar consistency, except, you know, jello is more jello and pudding is more pudding. But yeah, I never made pudding. Although I feel like homemade pudding would, would kind of slap. Oscar's biggest fear is the sewing machine. He can dodge fate all he wants. But no one can outrun it.
It's like the big bad wolf in, in Puss in Boots. The last wish. No one can, no one's escaped from him yet. You may be putting it as a kid. Put it in a mason jar and shake a shake a shake a. That sounds like fun. I do remember one time I uh I played a lot of Super Mario Sunshine when I was a kid. And there are enemies in that game where like if you you know if you're like you're standing next to like the gloop and those little like I don't know what you call them, they're just like little like slimy jellyfish dudes. They'll just like materialize out of the gloop and start glorping towards you. And I always loved the design of those guys. So like one time I decided I wanted to try and make one of them in real life and I was like, how am I gonna do that? And my idea was to make like jello, but to make it inside of like a rubber glove. And then I could like freeze the glove, or, like freeze the jello once it was ready to go. I could freeze the jello once it was ready to go, and then it would like take it out. And in my in my childlike brain, I would I figured it would look like a little octopus or something, like a little little slimy squid. Didn't work whatsoever. I was very disheartened by it. But obviously, it didn't work. It it just looked like a like a hand made of jello, <laughs> which was still cool in its own right. But the jump sound from those guys is stuck in your brain forever. Oh, absolutely. It goes it's like that. They, may, they sound like little cats or something. That might have been an octopus. That might have been an octopus that I just canceled out of. I don't know, though. But I'm not going to increase the counter. Packages from the grocery store don't count as real pudding. I'd say they count as real pudding. They're just not the same as you know fully homemade pudding, but they're still they're still pudding. Still a little pudding, pudding. Seafoam pudding is out. I need like a little like bell that goes off every time my seafoam pudding runs out. Someone made a pudding with octopus. People will try anything, honestly. People have tr probably tried to make puddings out of, like, rocks. Octo pudding? <laughs> Very fitting. It's like the name of that one James Bond movie that I don't want to say because, like, if you know, you know. Bro, Oscar. Oscar's coming back with a vengeance, I tell you what. We haven't we hadn't seen him in such a long time, and now he's like he he's gone off and trained. Now he's the final boss we deserve. Oscar needs some octo pudding, to be honest with you. Come on, Oscar. You're not you when you're hungry. Eat a snail. You know what part of me thinks we should do, actually? Is, um, we catch these three golden walnuts every single time. And every single time, it's like a guarantee that we catch them, right? It's like a wasted cast. So maybe we should catch the third golden walnut here and then just, like, sleep. <laughs> How do we feel about that so that we're not wasting time on these golden walnuts every single time? It, fe it feels like it makes sense to me. That said, if I am going to do that, I should probably save the seafoam pudding. So we'll we'll ride this one out at least, and then we'll do that next time without, and we just won't catch, we won't use the seafoam pudding. We'll just catch the walnuts, and then we'll uh, 
reset a new day. Lack of sun finally getting to me? No. No. It's not that. In fact, I hope it rains tomorrow. I hope I hope this this storm never ends. I I don't want to see any sun. No sun until the octopus is is in my hands. Yeah, what if tomorrow doesn't rain? We'll just we'll just sleep until it rains again. It's fine. Oh. Holy moly. Maybe there won't be it tomorrow? Chat, maybe there won't be it tomorrow. Then again, maybe there will be. All he's given us little glimpses of hope, though. All, all he's given us little tastes, little morsels of something greater waiting for us. It's okay. We can still do this. There's still time. There's still time, chat. I got about 15 minutes. Uh, I, I can give it 15 minutes more before I have to go and like take care of stuff before I go to work, but... 15 minutes is is plenty of time. Plenty of time to catch a single octopus. Curse you, Ollie the octopus. I can't do a Doofenshmirtz impression, but that was my best <laughs> that was my best go at it. Oof. Oh, see if I'm putting just died. Alright. Reset me. Let's give this another whirl, shall we? Let's do the, uh... You know what? We've come so far now. If it, if it comes to this in the next stream, we will, uh... We'll do the, the golden walnut thing. But I don't want to give up on this day just yet. I don't want to give up on this day just yet. If we have to do it next stream, if, if we don't catch... If we don't catch Ollie this time... We'll do that golden walnut thing. We'll catch them all, and then we'll sleep, and we'll set up a new day. But I would feel bad giving up right now. Next stream will be a new goal. We can only hope. We can only hope. For now, I just got to get past these tunas and these walnuts and, uh, and be who we are. Octopus fishing is nothing compared to the stress of sending emails asking for advice. <laughs> no, octopus fishing is, is nothing compared to the stress of just, you know, interacting with other people in general. Have I ever done shiny hunting in Pokemon? I have uh, a little bit. Not very, like, very, very little. It was when I was younger. I used the, uh... The Poke Radar method back in Generation 4, where, like, if you use the Poke Radar, then, like, the grass will shaky shaky. You go to those shaky grasses and you, like, find a Pokemon. And then, if you chain together the same species of Pokemon over and over and over, then the odds of it being shiny get uh, higher and higher, up to, like, you. I think, like, 40 is the highest chain that you need to get the max odds. And I did that one time and got myself a shiny Pachirisu. And that was, uh, that was about the extent of it. Otherwise, the only shiny Pokemon I've gotten are either, like, the scripted ones, like the shiny Red Gyarados, or the, uh, or I got one random shiny Torkoal one time. You've been hunting on and off for a shiny Mudkip for, like, two months now? How many resets do you have to knock? That's a yeah hunting. I've I've done I did do a little bit of like shiny starter hunting. I think for like a shiny chikorita one time. I never ended up getting it because like it was at the time I was just not to, in a good mental space for that grind. I think, but but people commit like many many resets for that sort of thing. Or are you hatching it? Maybe full odds starter resetting. Lost count, but you're definitely over odds. Best of luck to you, my friend.
Doing an Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Is that game... Does that game have, like, the uh, 1 in 8,000 odds? Or is it... Uh, is it 1 in 4,000 by that game? Holy moly. <laughs> Ollie giving us giving us one last show before the stream ends. No, we still got ten minutes. We got time for more than that. Come on. Come on. One last bite. One last bite for funsies. Not very funsies at all. Did I increase the counter on that one? I feel like I didn't increase the counter on that one. But I don't remember. I've entered into my into my fishing flow state, and I don't know if I if I actually did or not. I ate the seafoam pudding pudding too early. I'm I'm losing I'm losing the plot entirely. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I did? Okay, thank you. Thank you all for checking. I appreciate it. I would like to think it's kind of baked into the muscle memory by this point, after almost 50 catches. Or after 50 attempts, I should say. 50 attempts, zero catches. Not a great, uh... Um... Not a great catch ratio. Catch cash ratio, CCR. Nope, still not at the point where we're gonna grind for the Master Fisher enchantment. Like I said, 200, 200 attempts maybe. I'm willing to invest some time into getting that enchantment if we get to 200 attempts. But you know, you guys know how it goes at this point. We're not going 200. We're not even going 100. We're not even going 51. This this next one is it. How about a compromise? 100 compromise? Like for what? What do I get out of that? I just feel bad that I cut my that I cut my 200 in half. Jay Sky, thank you for the gifted membership to uh, to Hollis. Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate the generosity and support. That is awesome. Thank you so much, Hollis. I hope you enjoy the uh, the newfound emojis and your sword. Careful where you swing that thing. Then why not the master enchantment at 400? You make a great point. All right, let's do 400 then. Works for me. Now, now you're speaking my language, Malehu. That's a tuna. This is the Ollie subscription. Ollie, did you hear that? Did you hear that? That one was for you, Ollie. That one was for you. I'm leaning closer to my screen like he can hear me. Come on, Ollie. Come on, I can see you down there dancing around the bobber. I can see you. I can't really see him, chat, but just pretend. We gotta psych him out a little bit. Don't you want to tango? Just one, won't you give me this one last dance, Oliver? Please? Is this golden walnut? I don't remember. This is not a golden walnut. This is a lionfish. What time are we up to? Alright, chat. I think we... I, I'll give it 
one more octopus chance, we'll get up to 50. And no matter what happens then, I think we're going to call it a stream. So let's just, let's catch it now and have no regrets. If nothing else, at least we established our base of operations in Ginger Island here. We got ourselves the island farmhouse, so that'll be helpful for, for future prospects no matter what. But if that's the only progress we make today, then, uh... <laughs> Let's, we'll cross that bridge. We'll cross that bridge. This is the one. All hands on deck, chat. All hands on deck. We need all the good luck we can get. All the optimism. All the optimism. We can do this. Together, we are strong. Together, our resolve knows no breaking point. Chat, hold my hand. Hold my hand. I'm reaching over. I'm grabbing the microphone. I want. I don't want to grab it too hard though, because I don't want to destroy your ears. Hold on for dear life, chat. That's a that's a lionfish. It's all right. Now we get a golden walnut. It's okay. We know how this goes. We get a little breather. For, you know, for the time that these walnuts do waste, it is kind of nice to get a breather from, uh, like, just to know that I'm not going to have any anything to worry about at this point. You can do this. Thank you. 50 does sound like a nice, uh, nice round number to end things on. That would be great. All right. Got a chance here. Got a chance. Pray for Sleepy Ollie. Pray for Sleepy Oliver. Sleepy Oliver, the octopus of our dreams. Emily dance music coming along at a great time. All right. One more golden walnut. I just wish the Emily dance party song was longer, dude. We need a, like a fully extended remix or something like that. All right. The golden walnuts are clear, Oliver. Ollie. Hey, you can come out, buddy. You can come out. The golden walnuts are gone. No more golden walnuts to get between us. It's just you and me. You and me in the big blue sea. You're not going that easy, buddy. Not that easy. Let me catch it, bud. I can't sing. I can't sing. No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> run it back. Run it back one more. One more. Ollie. Run it back one more time. We still got seafoam pudding left. We got seafoam pudding left in us. Come on, come on. Give me one more try, Ollie, please. Please, please. Please. It would have been so poetic on the PJR and everything. Oh my gosh. Don't do me like this, buddy. Don't do me like this. Oh. Rip. All right. Well, that's going to have to be it for now. <laughs> Unfortunately. One stream down. No Ollie in sight yet. But we had a good few close calls there. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. I apologize to the 80% of believers who thought we would be able to catch it this stream. But, you know what? There's always next time. I will be back again live next week. Don't know the specific days just yet. Either Monday or Tuesday for sure, but I don't know which one or maybe even both. But either way, I'll send off the stream schedule on, on Sunday as per usual and in the on the Discord and, in the, uh, and on the community tab. So 
Subscribe if you like to be notified of that. And hey, if you enjoyed this stream and all of the cephalopod shenanigans that, that it came with, hit the like button down below. I really appreciate it. it. really does help out the channel. Thank you, thank you. And thank you for another fun-filled stream, y'all. Uh, enjoy your weekend. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves. I'm going to send you off with the usual fan art compilation. Once I, once I get it ready to go. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you and good night. Thank you.